Hello, everyone. Hi. I am going to play today Potionomics, one of a surprisingly sizable genre of potion selling games on Steam. One that I've been following the development casually for a long time. If you've been following, like, this game has uh, been in the works uh, in the public eye for quite a while now, and I don't know much about it, of how it, like, actually works, but what caught my eye was that its character's design is so good, and the animation as well, that I was like, I gotta play this. And I also, like, I also been wanting to play potion games, because there's, like, several. I want to play this one, I want to play Potion Craft, which looks really cool. It looks like the art style is, like, very uh, inspired by that Striganona book. Um, there's Potion uh, Permit, which is like a pixel art, like, kind of Reketeer style game. I also want to play Reketeer, if anybody knows Reketeer. I love shop games, like games where you play like a shop owner, especially in fantasy. But yes, today, I, it came out yesterday too, so I'm very excited. Comfy time. So let's start a new game. I'm very unfamiliar with how this game plays. I've only seen like a little bit of it, but I'm still excited. The daddy of these? Yeah, Reketeer. Uh, I gotta play that sometime on stream. Also, all the animations in this game is great, and the character design. Look at this owl. Look at this sassy owl. Moonlighter. Yep, that's another one. My dearest Sylvia. Greetings from Rafta. Uh, also, let me know how the audio sounds as well, chat. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. Slime Rancher 2, yay or nay? Yay! At some other time. I know it's gonna suck up all my time. Her unsanctioned experiments made this a land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit. Unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia. Ooh, Uncle Oswald is looking... <clears throat> Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead. Which isn't great. <laughs> Aww. But he's so hot. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia. Don't let this be the end of my shop. My dream. Come to Rafta. Accept your inheritance and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. Dearly departed, Oswald. Aww. How could be he be that hot and not have an heir? That's what I'm saying! Please accept our firm condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. For the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafton. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else will be deemed forfeit. That's true, maybe he's gay or ace. That is fair. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from your establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. She! <laughs> I love this game already. Just that intro. Okay, this place is not all I hoped for. But this could still work. I can make this work. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw in the rafters. Good thing I've got a broom. 
Ooh, hello. So here's another thing about this game. Um, everyone in this game is hot. <laughs> like all good fantasy games, everyone in this game is attractive. Forgive me for the intrusion. I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. I'm Helen, and you're Sylvia, right? We have some business to discuss, but first, I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Thanks, but I didn't really know him that well. All the same, it's a pity, particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. As his designated heir, responsibility for that debt now falls to you. What? Really? I didn't know that's how it worked. But I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I've got the shop. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of one million gold now? Oh my gosh. It's a... It's a mimic suitcase. It's got teeth. What? I take it you prefer to set up a payment plan. Uh, but... That's so much gold! You could buy five shops with that much gold! What in the world did Oswald do with all of it? This managed it, to judge by appearances. I have his contract right here, if you'd like to look it over. That fine print is very fine. What did you just do? I think she just put it in your memory. I've invoked a soul binding, which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time, and the shop is yours. Default on the loan, however, and you forfeit the property and will be legally obligated to work for us until such a time as we deem your debt repaid. Now that sounds... bad. I'm confident that you have everything you need to succeed. In fact, here. I'll get you started. Sell me this old potion so I can be your first patron. Tutorial! <gasps> it's a card game! Okay, attempt to raise her interest in the potion. Flail in your attempt to raise her interest blunder your way through an attempt to raise her interest. I like flail. Uh, it's, uh, pretty good, probably. It's a potion. Wait, you knew that. I li uh, I like you'll think it. Wait, no. Mmm, so she's running out of patience. That's what that means. The stress is getting to me. Ooh, stress. The current odds of drawing a stress card. Oh, so stress is like curse cards. If in hand at end of turn, increase stress by 20. And I can't play these. Mm. If in hand at end of turn, increase stress by 20. Oh, gee, no, I'm going to reach 80% stress. Raise the customer's interest and fill the bar to increase the potion's selling price. And if she runs out of patience, she leaves. Customer loses two patients this turn. This value increases by one after each turn cannot be removed. Ooh. So she runs out. The rate at which they run out of patients accelerates. Oh god. But I don't have any carts to sell you. It's anxiety simulator. If I wanted to play anxiety simulator, I would play bounce SMP. Okay. I'm too stressed to function. Well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You have a full ten days before your pay first payment is due. I'll be seeing you, Sylvia. Good luck. Of course. Of course this would happen. I never should have come here. Never should have come here. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh, shit! Huh? <laughs> Ow! My hip. Up and Gaming! Hello! Thank you for the raid! Welcome to Potionomics! This game came out yesterday. Oh, I mean... Hoot hoot. I heard that! You... You can talk! Well... Oh well, of course I can talk! You must be new here. This is Rafter, where the strange is commonplace and... And the birds are chatty. And what are property laws like in Raptor? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. 
I live here, actually. If you can call it living, eating scraps, hiding in the shadows. You live here? In the shop? I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh, uh, uh, did he never mention me? How strange. Perhaps he was... Uh, uh, it's just so embarrassed to admit how integral I was to his shop. Yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is... Owl. Owl? Really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a first idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway. Owl. It was nice to meet you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that. I say, I saw what happened. That Loria's soul binding means she'll be able to track you to the ends of the globe. Miss a single payment and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle, uh, cubicle until you, you've worked off your debt. There's no way I can make enough by selling potions. Maybe, not through traditional route, but you've arrived at a fortuitous time. There are five com competitions taking place over the next 50 days, a series of con contests in which local merchants will go head-to-head -head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. You see, the initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. You'll simply have to make a few specific potions in advance. Those are what you'll be judged on. Win the first competition and you'll automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prize will be even better. And just look at that juicy grand prize. Win all five competitions and you'll have the money you need to get that debt collector off your back for good. You really think I've got a shot at this? Uh, probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation, remember? I know a thing or two. Well, all right then. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh, let's do it. You and me, Owl. We're gonna win those competitions. Let's brew some potions. Let's make some money. Let's do some potionomics! Oh boy. Very posh. Of course! Look at him. There's no way he's not. A potion a day keeps the healer away. A new study has highlighted the benefits of daily health potion use in shoring up the body's natural defenses. Increased value for health potions. Ooh. Random events. Okay. I see you cleaned the place up a bit. Nicely done. I love the art style of it. Look, it's so cute and colorful. Look at this game. Let's head over to the cauldron and get brewing. Ooh. Okay, no time limit, thank god. Unless... The current time of day, certain actions will move time... Okay, I'm always so stressed out whenever it's like a time thing and I have to go fast. Luckily, it's turn-based time. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with these for now. I assume you know your way around a cauldron. You went to school for this, after all. Did you ever play Reketeer? Yes, a long time ago. I love Reketeer. I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. There's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Don't blame me. The regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle the basic stuff before they'll let me brew more advanced potions. See? I got the first stamp when I graduated. To, the, uh, to get the next one, I have to put in a lot of hours at the cauldron. This actually makes a lot of sense why you, you would need a uh, permit. You're essentially making medicine. Well, you'll certainly get your hours. I'm starting now, in fact. Right, my first professional brew. I'd better go over my notes for college, just to be safe. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. A potion requires a minimum of two different magical infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and litter-assigned... Mad... Magimins? Magimins, yeah, sure. Ah, yes, the mighty Magimin. Where would we be without it? Wherever the magic has left its mark upon the world, there you will find Magimins. Magical creatures, magical plants. Even the rock of this supernatural island contains this critical alchemical compound. 
Eating an ingredient releases the magimens contained within it, thus infusing your potion with the very essence of magic. For that reason, a potion-specific recipe is best thought of as a specific combination of magimens. The ingredient is only the vessel. The magimens they contain within will determine what kind of potion is created. Ratios are important too. For example, this ratio, L plus ratio plus didn't read plus don't care plus didn't ask. If your balance of magimens is out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. It sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, one step at a time. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, one step at a time. Gotta put ingredients into the cauldron to make a potion. Duh. Can't go wrong with a health potion. And I had the recipe memorized. Health potions require a combination of red and green magimens. So, some fey berries and mandrake root should do the trick. Ah, I see. Yeah, you can see the little magimens right there. A, B, C, D, and E. So, recommended... Competition potions. Mmm. Fortifies hero by 10. I wonder if those numbers will matter. Probably the strength of the potion. Alright. Uh. And. I assume the more ingredients I put in, the more potent the potion will be. Yeah, two star potion. That's everything we need. Let's get to uh, let's get the lid on and set it to brew. Mm -hmm. Balance of magimens. All right. Okay, so it'll take two time. Whatever that takes. All right. Nothing left to do here but let it cook. Mm -hmm. That is a pathetic cauldron. Max ingredients four. Oh, it is literally a bucket. We are. This is the bucket that you bathe little babies in. <laughs> this is a bucket. Your potion should be ready in the afternoon. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. Oh! Are you sure they're not expired? Oh, there it is! Look at it! Oh, it's brewing! Okay, arrange potions. Oh, I can arrange it on the shelf. I love this. I love shop simulators. These old health po health potions won't so, uh, set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them would be good practice for you. Putting them on the shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. All right, then. Good. Now, when the customer comes in, they'll see what you have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. Ah, yes. This one is made of creaky, rickety old wood. We're finally ready to open the potion store. Let's sell some potions. Ah, so this will take two turns. Is this what this is? Ah, yes, so one clock will tick it over by one thing. I see, I see. All right, so open shop will cost two time slots. Yeah, that's what it's called. I like that. I like turn-based time things, so I don't have to rush. There are cat people on the sidewalk? Oh, I missed it. Okay, hope this goes better than yesterday. It will, it has to. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling! The art of conversing with the customer in order to get the highest value for each potion. You want to use every haggling strategy to, you know, to reach each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more they'll pay. But keep a close watch on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply, and if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster. One-sixth of a day is a turn, yep. Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of their own. Try not to let them stress you out too much. Ah! Here comes one now. You've got this. Uh, I used to buy from your uncle. Uh, I see talent runs in the family. Oh, this looks pretty great if the price is right. Mmm, set them up. Raise interest by four. 
If opener, apply set them up. Increase interest applied by reel them up by 20%, by 20 so it's a combo card. Reel them in. Oh, sorry, reel them in, I see. This card has an ability which will activate only if it's played first hand. I see, opener, okay. Echo, good news. Yes? It's a card game. Oh, it's perfect for you. I like those. Is it like a, like a deck building? I think you build your deck before you go in and like you can get more parts. I'm presume, I'm guessing. That's my, that's my prediction. Yeah, I love card games. So yeah, I guess the game just wants me to play the opener. Yep. Been an excellent selection. I see what you're getting at. Now that I have their attention, I can reel them in. Yeah, so it's a combo. So I could have played this by itself, but because I played that opener, this one has more. There's no better potion for you. Wow, nice. That's all I have for now. Gotta brace myself for their turn. And a block. It's mental blocking. <laughs> it's You have to block yourself socially. That's great. When I came in, I thought the potion might be cheaper. Uh, you know right where to hit me. Mm -hmm. Fortify yourself against anxiety. A game introverts can relate to. Oh yeah. Close out. Raise interest by nine. Close the sale. Mm -hmm. So what do you say? I'm sort of feeling it. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. I wonder what kind of dungeons she's going in. <laughs> yeah, is aren't the animations great? Oh, I haven't been looking at um, subs and don't know. Sorry. Uh, thank you, Squirrel Curls. Uh, I've awaited this game for decades. Me too. Uh, Zid CHS, thank you for the 12 months. That's a year. Uh, Zach Old Draconis, thank you for the 36, but three years. We'll get this potion shop up to spec in three years. And Mercury, thank you. Take care. Next in line. Hello. It's going to be a great day, don't you think? This one looks nice. Well, what are you asking for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, think Sylvia, think. Opener. Um, this card has an ability only if it's played first. Okay, so I was gonna draw first, but then this won't go, so. Boop. This one's a winner. Okay. Ooh, can I look at my deck? I can! Sweet. Okay, so some basic cards. I assume I'm gonna get more, like, crazier cards as I go. More weird ones. Alright, let's draw. Raise interest. Ooh, I see. So, I can play as many cards as they have patience, so I'll do that. And... 29. Devalue potion. Customer is going to decrease the price of the potion. Customer is going to increase Sylvia's stress. Okay. I mean, I could close it out now for 29. Nah, I'm done. I can see you put some care into it. <laughs> okay. I'll wait until he's... Just about. Ooh. Come on. Okay, hey, close out. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for your business. I had a dream this place was condemned. I had my doubts, but I thought I'd at least ask about this one. Shield. Customer is going to gain a shield. What does that mean? Shield. Blocks a set amount of interest equal to its current value. Ah. Okay, so that means if I use this, it'll raise his interest by only two. Yeah, there we go. So I assume he needs a serotonin buff potion. I assume um, 
the amount of hearts is like the max amount I can raise the price of the potion. Oh. Okay. I'm not gonna use this. I'm just gonna draw next turn because this costs one patience and this also costs one patience. So it's basically the same. Reduce interest applied, but oh no, that's gonna re reduce essentially my dam the damage I can do or the interest I can give. So maybe it's better if I try and draw an interest card now since I'm at full power interest. Uh, uh. Okay, this is bad. I'm gonna have to close the deal next turn. It's an overwhelming markup. Uh, okay, I can probably play one card. Yeah. Yeah, because I got debuffed. Double stress received. Okay, so what is stress? Oh yeah, stress adds stress cards. Um, set him up and close the deal. Oh wait, but he blocked it. Okay, that's fine. 30's good. Well, alright then. Have a nice day. That's all of them for now. That didn't go so badly. Oh, I had the card? Oh, well. I didn't look at- I didn't, uh, see it. Yes, it's clear your handling skills are already improving, but if I could offer a small suggestion- Oh, um, even the, the owl is backseating. Hold on, I'm gonna put the no backseat rule on. Since uh, already people are backseating the game that I just started. Do, 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 do. No back seat. And a tag. Wait, where is it? Boop, boop, boop. No back seating. Boop. Done. And Nightbot. Haven't had to use the back seat command in a while. Back seat. Boop. There we go. All right, let's hear it, Owl. In a negotiation, sometimes the best move is to make the move you haven't thought about yet. When you don't like your options, take a moment and scheme your way to a better path. Ooh, oh, that's really good. Oh, but it costs two. Mm -hmm. It is more efficient than think, though. I can be a little diabolical when I have to be. I look forward to seeing it in action, but that's enough of a break for now. That was a break? Go on now, back to work. Yeah, it's definitely worth the price. It's more efficient. This health potion should be done brewing. Let's take a look. All right. The health potion looks ready. Let's bottle them up. Bottle. Ooh, it went up in price. Superb brew. That's the first batch done. Why not make some more for the night shift? But I'm out of ingredients. Let's diversify your offerings, though. You never know what will be in demand. Mana potions require green and yellow measurements. I think I have the proper ingredients lying around. Ah. Not blue. Interesting. Perfect. Let's make those mana potions. Or is it mana potions? Mana potions take a little longer to brew than health potions, so let's pump up the heat to increase the process. Fuel! When adding to your cauldron's fire, it will reduce the amount of time it takes to brew a potion. What's up, making something? We're making potions. <laughs> Jesse, we need to brew, Jesse. Oh, Zandy Cheeks, thank you for gifting five subs. That's very generous of you. Thank you. We have to feed the fire. You can feed up to three pieces of fuel to the fire to really boost that brewing speed. Be on the lookout for different types of fuel from different areas of the island. Not all fuel is created equal. I think there's a little bit of hay left. Uh, go ahead and feed it to the fire. Oh, I didn't even notice the fire has a little face! Nom 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 nom. Can I feed it a potion? No, I can't. 
Nom nom. Great. Now we can open the shop for the afternoon and sell the health potions you brewed this morning. Oh, the cute little fire! Oh, uh, Echo. Oh, she, she's not in here anymore. She left the room. Uh, Echo's gonna love this game. Let's take a moment to think about your haggling strategy. Adding new haggling tips to your arsenal is the key to convincing customers to pay you more money. Ooh, yes, deck building, deck building. Here are your cards on this page. These are the haggling skills you have had to begin with. Yeah, th the easiest way to make anything cute is to add a little uh, cat face to it, the cat mouth. Head over to my page to see the new haggling tips I taught you. Ah, owl cards. Echo, you're going to love this game. This is a game, like, I would recommend to you. I think you would love it. Uh-huh. Recognize that one. New haggle techniques will appear here as you learn them. To add new techniques to your active deck, you have to make space for them. Mouse over any card in the deck and press the minus button to remove it. Then you'll be able to click on a card to add it to your deck. Yep. And, okay, I can only have up to 20 cards. I'm gonna get rid of a couple of Think Sylvia's because this is more efficient. And there we go. Because when you brew, you need to feed the fire to, to be bigger. And the fire has a face! Oh, it's so cute! It's a cat fire! It's a little cat fire. And like when, you, when you're about to feed something, it opens its mouth. It's like, ah, and you feed it That's fuel. That's amazing. Oh, little ant the loading animation. This game is incredibly charming in its presentation. These are better potions there. Four stars. Mm -hmm. It is very Howl's Moving Castle-esque, I think, in energy as well, yeah. If this place is good, uh, good enough for the local heroes, I'm into it. Sell me something. How about this? All right, a potion. Uh, set them up and reel them in. And... Yeah. But I have mouths to feed. Probably deserve that. I think we can reel them in and then close out. Reel and close. Because if I end my turn, their patience is gone. Nice. 53. Fifth. Oh, that's a 30% markup. Something like that. I didn't actually look at the numbers. Stress can stick between customers, can it? Just a heads up, I noticed some dust bunnies in the corner. I hope this potion is up to my standards. Can you tell me about it? Hmm. It seems to be between customers, um, but I don't know if throughout the day customer is going to lose extra patience. Okay, well, that's not too bad. So that means if I end my turn, I'm actually going to lose three. He's actually going to lose three patience. I can, I can risk three patience. Wow. Mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, alright, let's scheme. And I think... Oh, I wish... Oh, if only I had one more energy. I would be able to reel in twice. Alright, let's reel in and close up. 30% markup. And people say I'm hard to please. I'm pretty sure he paid more than the other girl. No, he didn't, but. <laughs> the dust bunnies are there for petting. We offer them as a service to the customer. Yeah, of course. Thank you for the bits, by the way. Yeah, they're actually dust bunnies. Nice job. Now don't forget those mana potions. There's still time to sell them before the day's over. Let's bottle them up. 
Okay. And bottle. Okay, so they're they're average, right? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, perfect! That's a five-star! Five-star mana potion! Hell yeah! Great! We can sell these for the last block of the day. Before we do, however, let's brew a new set of mana potions. This time, we'll kick it up a notch. I've got some ingredients stashed away for a rainy day that will push your potions to the next tier. Oh, whoa! 18 measurements! Hot damn. Let's drop these in and make some real potions. Look, Echo, look. Look at the fire. So here's the hay, and I can... Oh, oh. It's like a cat calcifer. Yeah, it's like a calcifer, yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm interrupting. Oh, I just adorable. wanted to show you how cute this game is. I love the main character. Yeah, I like the design. Okay, so adding fire reduces the amount of time it takes to brew. This batch will need to brew overnight, so you can bottle them up in the morning. In the meantime, let's fit in one last haggling session. Calixifer. Not Catsifer? No, because Calico. Calixifer. <gasps> Thank you, co tribe. Thank you for the 34 months. Did that guy just dab? No, he didn't. He did a he did a, like a Power Ranger pose. Okay. Must be eager to call it a night. I'll be quick. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Hmm. What are you gonna do? Complain. I think I'm just gonna block this turn. Because I don't. This was a bad hand. Okay. Don't know about the potion, but the glasswork is nice. Mm. There we go. Set him up. Reel him in. And then close it out. I'll test my luck. I'll try my luck. Nope. All right. Close it out. Not great. Yeah, isn't her face great? Aren't the animations in this game great? I ran into a hero who had the nice things to say about the shop. I could feel the magic coming off of this one. Set him up. Reel him in. Raise yourself. Perfect hand. Perfect starting hand. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have played that because she wasn't going to do anything. Mm, I shouldn't have played that, actually. She was just going to lose patience, that's all. Okay, that's fine. Well, this hand sucks. Do I want to risk it? She'll have three patients left. What's the likelihood that I draw another close it out? low. Mm. Yeah, I'll risk it. Is it safe for turtles? My turtles get into everything. <laughs> yeah, what's 4%? I've I've, what do you mean XCOM? I've never heard of XCOM. Oh man, no, I, I think Reel It In probably would have been better to play at that point, actually. Oh well, close it out. Misplay. Ah, oh, sweeping magic brooms! I think I could get the hang of this. <laughs> hey, what's the big deal? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can. I live here. Are you invoking squatter's rights? Because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I don't know what their gender is, but I like it. 
I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia. I just inherited this place. Do they have... Is their witch's hat, like, two? It's got, like, two pointy bits. Huh. Just... Just when you're sure. Uh, just when you're sure, you know a condemned building when you see it. But maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potion witch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. I think it has an eye? Oh god, it does! Their hat has an eye! It's like a... cat hat. Devil horns, yeah. It's a hat mimic! You know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions? You should kick some business my way. Hmm. Well, you gotta take risks. Sure thing, I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. <gasps> New card! I plant the seed for three turns. Raises interest by eight at the start of customer's turn. Oh! It lasts. I don't know if I'll last three turns. So it's like the longer I haggle the customer, the better, the more value this card has. So I probably want to play this and not play many cards. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I will use that. That's powerful? Yeah, the catch is, though, you gotta have the customer around for a long time. If they don't stick around, then uh, it loses its value. But where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. <laughs> I'm excited to get to know- They probably don't look like they want to be gotten to know- Actually, I'm gonna roleplay as Sylvia. Sylvia, let's make Sylvia friendly. I'm excited to get to know you. Maybe we can hang out. I'm not really big on hanging out. <gasps> but, I don't know. I could maybe make an exception for you. Either way, I guess I'll see you around. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. <laughs> Romance the hat. Hi, Pirate Software! Hello! Hello, Pirate Software developers of Heartbound. I'm so glad this game is out now. I've been looking, speaking of indie devs, I've been looking at this game for such a long time and oh, it's so charming. All the animations are great. <laughs> You'll never prove it? Ah, oh, if only there were some way that you could, you guys could check out the ongoing development of indie game Heartbound through live Twitch streams or something. I don't know. That'd be crazy. Recommended competition potions, so these are probably potions I should learn. I don't know how to learn potions yet, though. I don't want to spoil it for myself. Totally valid, understandable. That's why me as well. Like I'm like I occasionally check in to see how it's going, but I'm like I want to I want to play through the whole thing. No spoilers. But yeah, totally, totally understandable. Just gotta take this one day at a time. Oh wow! Is this an actual potion shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day, and now? Potions! Yeah, uh, pardon the mess. I'm working to get the place up and running again. Well, I'm impressed. You must know what you're doing. That's, uh, really kind of you. Actually, let's give her a southern accent. The truth is, I'm new to new to town and new to running a shop. I'm sort of figuring it all out as I go. Really? I'm new here too. My name's Mint, and I just uh, got to town a few days ago. I'm Sylvia, resident potion witch. And by resident, I mean I've literally, I literally live here. It's seriously so good to meet you, Sylvia. Now, I have to ask, does Foster the Formidable ever shop here? Or Docs the Defend This Traitor? Uh, <laughs> heroes are overrated. <laughs> nah, heroes are great. That would be a huge honor. But I'm not sure I'd recognize them. You didn't have posters of them in your bedroom when you were little? I guess that was just me. 
Oh, Denistrator, not Defensinator or whatever. I might be a bit of a fangirl, to be honest. I've been geeking out pretty much nonstop since I got here. I mean, this island has a lot of historical significance to the Heroes Guild. Uh, this is where they defeated Maven, the Witch Queen of Rafta. Of course, the fallout from the battle left the island uninhabitable for a while. But the whole place is rebuilt anew, uh, rebuilding now. And that includes the local chapter of the guild. They've put out a call for new recruits. Ooh. You've got the muscles to be a hero. <laughs> Ever thought about joining? Oh, thanks. <gasps> ship, 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 ship. Oh, thanks. I do work out. As a matter of fact, joining up is exactly why I came to Rafta. I answered the call. Hey, that's great. Congrats on the new gig. Thanks, but I'm only a provisional member for now. They've got me running odd jobs for the EXP. Oh, she can get ingredients for us! Oh, that's slang for experience. Any day now, I'll be ready for proper adventure outside of town. After all, there's a whole island out there, teeming with mystery and danger, and potion ingredients, of course. Swing by the guild hall if you're ever looking for a loot. Uh, for loot, I could help you out for a small fee. Sounds promising. Uh, thanks for the tip. No sweat, Sylvia. I know we just met, but I'm already rooting for you. That's going to work in your favor, I bet. Evoke sympathy in your customers, and they'll be more likely to cut you some slack. <gasps> New card. Uh, sympathy. Oh. Like I said, everyone in this game is attractive. Sharpsheet, thank you for the for the two one sub. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Block a set amount of stress equal to its current value. Shield is removed when equal to its current value. Oh, so if I have two percent stress, I block for two. Is that it? Who moves at the start of Sylvia's turn? Increase all interest gained by twenty five percent. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Oh, I'll definitely keep that in mind. And I have a feeling you're gonna do great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some fetch quests to tackle. You wouldn't believe how often people in this town misplace family heirlooms. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> poking fun at RPGs. Hmm, potion of the day is maybe a little, uh, a bit excessive. Follow-up study suggests that a daily health potion might be far too much of a good thing. Decreased value of health potions. Well, it's a good thing we're not selling any health potions right now. Sudden popularity of hallucinogenic mineral bats has uh, caused a run on minerals and mushrooms of all kind. Fungus ingredients will cost more. Mineral ingredients will cost less. So, so we're out of ingredients. Can't make any more potions. Might as well check out Quinn's shop, right? Or else there's always the Heroes Guild. Ah, here we go. That's what I, I see now. So it takes an amount of time per day to travel and go shop. That's what I thought. So it's a bit of time management as well. Look, there's a cat. Cat person. Old man. Old person. Hmm, where do we go? I wonder, are we able to travel to both shops in one day. Well, I think, um... I think Mint's gonna do fine, because she's up and chipper. I think let's pay Quinn a visit first, because they seem like they don't get company all that often. You can take uh, go to as many as you want before it detects an hour? Okay, awesome. Good, good, good. Okay. Ooh, hang out. Spend some time together to strengthen your relationship and lower some stress. Oh! <gasps> Visual novel dating sim. Oh, we're we're witch. We we're on a we're on a broomstick. We're hanging out in the sky. Oh, I love this world. You and me, really? Oh no, this takes up time. Mm. So I should shop first. Get some ingredients in town. Mm -hmm. Might as well buy it all, right? Yeah, I got plenty of money, and I'm always going to need potions. Y 
Yeah, it's a mimic chest. Look at the teeth. Oh, this... The UI in this game is wonderful. Look at you being financially responsible. <laughs> Look, it's a mimic chest. The UI in this game is so stylish. This game just don't miss. This game does not miss. Mm. Hold on, let's see. Let's see what Mint's up to. Oh, I love them. I love them. I love this game. I love this game. Hi, Sylvia. I'm so glad you decided to drop in on me. What do you think of the guild hall? Isn't it amazing? There's a lot more taxidermy than I expected. Yeah, heroes love their trophies. Maybe I'll be contributing one soon. Because of this, I've been approved to go adventuring. The training wheels are coming off. You should send me out sometime. I promise I'll big bring back some loot, good loot for you. Yeah, we've got an adventurer friend. How does that work exactly? I can tell you all about it. I just had my orientation, and I took detailed notes in my dedicated color-coded adventuring binder. It sounds complicated. Nah, I'm just a nerd for this. I was gonna say, she's a dork. It's actually a pretty simple system. Start by choosing which area you want me to explore. The farther I get into that area, the more loot I'll bring back. Providing me with potions is totally optional, but the right potion could help me get farther, or might help me find better spoils. Every potion has its uses, but health potions and mana potions are by far the most important. Health potions help me withstand damage. Mana potions uh, power my attacks, allowing me to fight my way past monsters. However, there's a limit to how many potions I can drink at a time. All that magic can really mess with a person's stomach. No, oh, and don't forget, there's a fee every time you send me out. Those are set by the guild. That's about it. Consider me on call. Honestly, I can't get out there soon enough. Hey, she gets paid. She gets a wage. I know you'll do amazing. Like, I love, I love when fantasy, like, I love mundane fantasy. I love settings in a fantasy world, but you just see how it works. Just the everyday life. I love this shit. This is my shit. This is like drugs to me. I love this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, slice of life. Slice of fantasy life. I hope so. This is what I've been training for after all. Oh, they also gave us a goodie bag of health and mana potions for a few recruits, uh, new recruits. Let's use them on my first adventure. Yeah! Health potions to patch me up and mana potions to get me to finish the line. Let's use them both. Oh, uh, to the finishing line. And hey, thanks for the support, Sylvia. It means a lot. <gasps> oh, bushwhacking. Oh, man. I. Mm, mm, I want to hang out with people, but. I have job. Mm. Let's plan my next adventure. Okay, we'll send her out first. Oh, look at this map. Go back down from a challenge. Okay. So this can show us some test. Okay. So she believes she can make it. Oh, you can see how far she goes. That's where the stats come in. So the five, like I thought that it was just for flavor. Fortifies your, your hero's health by five. I thought that was just for fla flavor. No, it's actually a function. Okay, so she's out of, she's out of energy. So if we do this, she'll use the mana potion. Wish I had a mana potion for the final battle. Gotcha, so this will give her plus one mana, plus two mana. I've been here for 30 seconds, but I'm already liking this game. Yeah! If I can get a little bit more health, the monster is going down. Oh, it's all, I see. It gives you all the information. So this monster, like, so, yeah, mana is essentially their stamina and health. It, it d shows you how much damage they're gonna deal up here. You guys can't see it, but that final monster is dealing five damage. Uh, chat is blocking it right now. It's really, I gotta say, it's really hard to keep chat on the, uh, <laughs> on the uh, overlay without blocking some kind of information in this game. Yeah, so 
so with one more and then she'll survive. Yeah. Gonna dominate out there. Yeah, do it. Time required. Yep. All right, hammer time. Okay, so I guess we're hanging out with Quinn. What was that one? Rank up. Mm, hang out and give gifts to become better friends. Oh, I can give. Different people like different ingredients, so try and find out what they prefer. I don't hate this development. Oh, but I don't know. Slime. Plant. Fruit. Bayberry. Mandrake root. Sack of slime. Oh. Well, I don't know. I don't know what they like, so. Let's hang out. I got time. Can't succeed in this business if you can't tell a slimy fish from a fishy slime. Quinn pulls out a blindfold and a sack of ingredients. Sylvia is hesitant. But Quinn has a point. Sylvia uses this stuff in her craft. She should know her materials inside and out. She dons the blindfold and opens wide, bracing for whatever Quinn has in store. Some of the ingredients taste alright, others don't. That was fun. I'm not sure your palate is any sharper than before. But your project <laughs> projectile vomiting is something to envy. Oh no, we got stress! Sylvia feels a little closer to Quinn and mildly less stressed. Okay, less stress, okay. Phew. Alright. Oh, we can hang out as much as we want. Oh, rank up! What does rank up do again? Oh, oops, I don't know if I wanted to do that. That does take time. This is sort of an unusual location for a business, isn't it? Yeah, it has its perks. Hmm. Must get lonely, though. Being up here by yourself? Yeah, no, that's one of the perks I mentioned. <laughs> Listen, in business, you've got to use any advantage you've got, whether that's the high ground or a low blow. Got the upper hand? That's when you press the attack. Ooh. <laughs> they look like they're about to call out Phoenix Wright on a bad discrepancy. I'm willing to make the most of an advantage. As soon as I get an advantage, I mean. Just now, I could use an advantage in the marketplace. You might fit the bill. Come on, follow me. All right, here's the deal. There are a total of four chocolatiers in this town. Each one of them gives out one free sample per customer per day. <laughs> hey, I'm a Quinn. I'm a make a the spaghetti and a meat the ball. Huh. What are you waiting for? Go get him. Bring him here. Spurred on by the urgency of Quinn's voice, Sylvia plunges into the throng. The chocolatiers aren't hard to find. In a, in a matter of minutes, she has four small chocolate treats. Yoink. Hey, wait a minute. What gives? You can't be that lazy. First of all, I wouldn't underestimate my laziness if I were you. But more to the point, I've got a lifetime ban from those stalls. All four of them. Well, in that case, I'm glad I could help you out, I guess. Hey, don't be sore. I'll share if you want. But they use some unusual ingredients in these things. You never know what's inside until you take a bite. Unusual ingredients? As in monster parts? Among other things. <laughs> mm. Let's not get too deep into it. Weird to think I'll be competing with candy makers for monster ingredients. There's definitely a market for this stuff. Lots of money to be made. The hard part is getting our hands on the best stuff. We need the local heroes to, you know, get good. They rely on potions when they're out there foraging. Quinn really just said skill issue. So if you level up your craft, they get better. And you and I both benefit. Hmm. I don't know that they 
are into uh, <laughs> doing it. I'll do my best. Of course, a discount on ingredients would help. Taking my lessons to heart already, I see. Tell you what, I'll take it under advertisement. Uh, advisement. Now, I gotta get back. Boxer gets antsy if I leave him for too long. Oh, Boxer the Mimic! And I get the impression you've got your work cut out for you. Alright, it's evening. I gotta go work. Way to be clingy, Sylvia. Later, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Great name for a mimic. Yeah. Boss monster in the forest. Oh, she's done. Look at that. The enchanted forest was no sweat. I actually enjoyed being out there. I knew you could handle it, and I'm excited to use those ingredients you brought back. I found some other goodies, too. I set them aside for you. These are glamours. <gasps> They'll change the look of your shop. Yes! They're purely cosmetic, so don't expect any tangible benefits. Still, they're pretty cool, right? This game has cosmetics. It's a good game. Heck yeah! Stone floor, new wood floors, stucco wall, polished wood wall. The true end game. Fashion. Hey, thanks. I can see how it'd be nice to switch things up every now and then. No problem. I'll keep an eye out for more. Apparently, some critters get into shipment, and now they're spread all over the island. Which reminds me, I can return to the forest any time, but I'm also up for more of a challenge. The mushroom mine and bone wastes are available to me now. They're a little bit more dangerous, but that means better rewards. And here's one more tip. You should introduce yourself to the Guildmaster, Baptiste. He sends out daily expositions, and if you invest in one, you'll get a share of what's com what comes back. I'll be sure to introduce myself, and I'll keep you in mind for further adventures, too. Sounds good, Sylvia. I'm ready whenever you are. Oh, but I want to hang out so bad. Mm. Ooh, let's send her to the Mushroom Mire. Ooh, that's a lot of tough baddies. I don't know, actually. Um, that's also a lot of tough baddies. Yeah, this is level two. So, plus five health. She's not gonna make it to the end. I'm gonna wait. I'll wait until I have more potions to give. Um, nah. Did Mint level up? Yeah, she's level two now. Oh, is that Baptiste? Ah, oh, crap, I... Mm. Welcome back. You'll probably want to get brewing soon. Ah, oh, man, it's gonna take me time to go out again. My potions brew, consider dropping in on your new acquaintances, but traveling takes time, so plan accordingly. Oh, time management, oh. Adapt and overcome, all right. Oh, and uh, take an early rest if you need it. Otherwise, you might get too stressed to function. Work-life balance. Work-life balance. Let's, um... Oh, I only got two potions to sell. That's okay. Makeshift shelf. No bonuses. Okay. Let's brew some stuff. Thank you for the well-done steak. This game is too damn cute. Yeah, right? It is adorable. As you decide what potions you're going to make, reference your recipe book. Throwing things into a cauldron and seeing what comes out is all well and good, but planning things out can give you an edge when reaching, uh, reacting to the market. Mmm. Recipe. Okay. Tonics. So I gotta... So here's potions that I know... But, I guess there's also, I have to like, kind of experiment. 
So this requires one A and C. Three parts A, four parts B, three parts C for an enhancer. Hmm. Two parts A, one part C, one part D. Poison cure. Hmm. Okay, health potion. So. Um. Let's try, let's try one of these. Fire tonics. So it's one part A, one part C. And how many can I put? Nope, that's it. I can fit four. Okay. Um... Ooh, that's pretty good. With this one, I can just make a mana potion just with one. That's just that's just a mana potion by itself. That's pretty good. But uh no, let's make some fire tonics. There we go. Hello, Fawn. Shut up, Fawn. Fawn, shut up. I'm brewing potions. I'm being an alchemist and potion shop. And lesbian. Okay, here we go. Uh, two turns. All right, so once we're done with this shift, this will be done. And let's see our deck. Let's get rid of Think Sylvia. It's not very efficient. Let's get a rid of Apply Sympathy. Whoop. Let's look at that again. Okay, I read that wrong. Shield just blocks. I, I thought that this blocked by a percentage. I read it wrong. It's because I, I read what shield does and I thought that's a special thing that this thing does. But that is a better block. It is like a block plus. Like it's block and does another thing. I'll get plant seed as well. Uh, raises interest by five, draw a card. That is a pretty good... I'm gonna get rid of one scheme and get one press the attack. Actually, that is a replacement for reel him in. So it's like reel him in, but better. It's seven. It costs two interest, but you get to draw a card, and I like card draw. Let's get rid of a set em up because I can't guarantee that I'm going to draw it on turn on the beginning of the turn. Um, we should probably only have as many set em ups as we have real mins. So let's get another scheme. Why all games have a card game inside? Because card games are awesome. Card games are cool. Joey's being every blue player. Look, card draw is fun. Card draw make my pee pee good. This town has really grown fast. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Well, this sucks. All right, well, plant seed. And you're gonna give me two stress. Customer is going to force you to draw a stress card. Okay. Well, at least we can block some of it. We're supposed to look out for one another. Yeah, but I gotta make some money. I gotta pay off some debt, man. If in hand at the end of turn, increase stress by one. Mm. Ooh, can I stack my plant seed? No, it just increases the turn back up. Okay. Wait, what? No? Yes, it does stack! Raises the interest by 16 at the start of custom- Ooh! Ooh, I like that. Ooh, that's very strong. I'm gonna play this. And I'm gonna take a- uh, 
He's gonna lose a lot of patience. He's gonna lose four patience, so I have to end turn. I'll close the deal next turn. Got work to do. Oh, I wish I had to close it out. All right. Uh, that's, I mean, plus 30%, that's all right. Head up, I noticed some dust bunnies in the corner. Feel free to pet them. There we go, good combo. What are you gonna do? Stress, okay, that's fine. Expect Fuchsia. Oh my God, why is it so little for, oh, because the, because people don't want health potions today. Mm. Do this, and I guess this, 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 and this. Th that's that's the best that I'm gonna do with this. Yeah, not great, not great. Is this like Reketeer? It seems to take a lot of inspiration from Reketeer. Brute. There we go, Fire Tonics. Hmm, and this is just a straight up health potion. Um, Improvise. What if we did one of each? One part of each. Yeah. What if we did that? What if, chat? What if? But we're wasting a slot. Fantasy potion shop game seems to be its own genre. I'm glad. I like this, that this is becoming a genre. Let's brew. Let's brew one... Wait, what is this? Minor Sight Enhancer. Oh, it's from my recipe book. It's the closest thing that I have. Let's try that, actually. Let's just make that. So... Three parts A, four parts B, three parts C. So if we... I don't know that I can actually do that. If I do this, and then this, it's not quite enough. Yeah, I don't think I can brew something like this yet. So we'll just... we'll just make some, uh... We'll make some mana potions, why not? Tried and true. Mana potions. Have I heard of Moonlighter? Yes, I have heard of Moonlighter. I actually heard of it when I was um, in college. I don't know if it's that old, but... Yeah. Unlike Reketeer, we don't have a big fuck-off debt to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put these. Whoa! What is this common mana potion? Fortifies your hero's mana by two. We'll save that. We'll save that for mint, perhaps. Do you like the writing in this game? My professor worked on it, so I'm curious. Whoa, really? I like it so far. It's cute. Requires at least, at least two time segments. Okay, let's travel then. Uh, there we go, Baptiste. Do we? We do, yes. We have to pay a hundred, we have to pay a million gold. Wow, this place is bigger than I realized. <laughs> Greetings, fair patron. Greetings and welcome to the Heroes Guild. 
I'm Baptiste, esteemed guildmaster and fledgling barkeep. Hi, I'm Sylvia. I'm new to town and I make potions. Then you'll certainly benefit from our services. Hiring a hero is a surefire way to get your hands on a new ingredient. You can work directly with any hero you're acquainted with, or come to me. I've always had a list of upcoming expeditions. Invest in one and return, you'll receive a portion of whatever loot is brought back. Oh wow, it sounds like the guild has a lot to offer. We aim to please. So if there's anything else I can do to be of service, just let me know. How about sharing some pointers? Do you have any advice for a fellow merchant? Well, I know, uh, I don't know that I'm a merchant, per se. I'm more of a facilitator, a master administrator, if you will. I keep everything running smoothly here while the town's, uh, our town's great heroes seek glory, adventure, and resources. It almost sounds like you're bragging about being a bureaucrat. Oh, don't you know? Bureaucrats are the very linchpin holding society together. We don't call ourselves heroes. But if making order of a chaotic world isn't heroic, I don't know what is. That's an interesting point of view. Isn't it? And in striking up a conversation about it, I'm demonstrating that piece of advice you asked for. If you've got something to sell, then best to captivate your audience forthwith. Oh, yep, bard. Increase patience by one. Give opener increased patience by two. That's really good, actually. I would slap him, kiss him, then slap him again. I think I can manage that. It's advice I've recently taken to heart. I arrived here only a few mo months ago, intending on guiding this guild to greatness. And the heroes have greeted me with open arms, although some of their traditions are rather mystifying. And say, you look like a commoner. Maybe you could share some insight. You must be a noble, then. <laughs> Shh! <laughs> I'm trying to downplay all that. You know, to help me fit in. But that brings me to my question. Tell me, this charming little tradition of leaving gifts is in a new friend's shoes. Gifts? Yes, you know, like shaving cream and fruit. And that one time it was a scorpion. Oh, he's getting pranked. Is that really supposed to go on for months? I mean, I'm flattered, but it's starting to feel like overkill. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let- I'm gonna tell him. They're taunting you, Baptiste. There's no tradition like that. Oh, really? Well, uh, joke's on them. Because I've been taunted by the best. It will take more than a bit of tomfoolery to get my goat. At any rate, I shouldn't be too surprised. I knew coming here that there would be a period of adjustment. Finding yourself suddenly in a new land, in a new role, it can be challenging, can't it? <laughs> At least you're handsome. I'm, I'll flatter him. Well, at least you're handsome. That's got to make it a little easier. Tis a curse. I only fear it makes others feel resentful and insecure. Oh, wait, I meant thank you, or should I say, no, no, I'm terribly ugly. I haven't got the false modesty down yet, but I'm working on it. Wow, you really are an unsung hero. At any rate, it's been a pleasure making your acquaintance, Sylvia. I hope you'll decide to avail yourself of our service. And I trust we'll find the opportunity to chat again soon. Oh no, I love him and hate him. All right. Invest. I see. Mushroom Mire Ghost Light Bloom. Ingredients will be available to collect tomorrow. So it's kind of like adventuring, but more direct. You can. He's basically like a curator. Mushroom Mire Murkwater Pearl. Whoa, 12 parts D. What is that? What is that little eye thing? It looks, so I'm guessing, oh, those are the five senses. Taste, feel, smell, sight, touch. Hmm. I don't know what that means yet, but whatever it is, it looks nice, so. Oh my god. Rare ingredient bonus. Disrupts ecosystem. Hmm. 
All right, we'll just do this for now. 18 parts A, six, mm, mm, mm. Ghost Light Bloom. Let's, does disrupting the ecosystem do a bad? I don't know. I don't know what that means yet. Um, potion recipes, current inventory and calendar. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Maybe he said something, but I like, didn't understand. Or maybe I didn't pay attention. We'll do this. I think this is a good investment. Yeah, I don't know what disrupting the ecosystem means. All right. Like harvesting, maybe. Maybe it means that there'll be like less valuable stuff later. Gift, we'll give him pixie dust diamond maybe it's nice enough all right yeah it's not very valuable okay let's head home then um maybe mint no we don't have any potions to give her let's play my next adventure yeah yeah we have like no potions long before we're asked to make love potions for weirdos? No, because that's not- that sounds like non-consent. Alright, so we lost a bunch of money t this day, but that's because this is investment day. Investing day. Investing day. I wonder what today has in store for me. Whoa! Big lad! Great and talkless, uh, taskless one. I have for you a question of dire importance. The potions that you sell. Do you make them yourself? I sure do. Every potion you see is handcrafted on site by me, Sylvia. It gladdens me to hear it. For potion crafting is a noble profession. A noble profession indeed. I'm pleased to meet you, Sylvia. You may call me Muktuk. For that is my name. I wonder if I might be of service to you in your endeavors. No, we're not really hiring right now. You misunderstand. I do not seek employment, for I have already found my calling, and it is a great one. Like you, I am a craft person. My media are metal, and all the minerals are the earth. My skill is unmatched. But key to any artisan's success is access to the right tools. And I cannot help but notice you appear to be brewing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. Tell me, do you not thrive on innovation? Do you not wish to dance upon the razor's edge of progress? I like to be on the cutting edge. I like being on the cutting edge. Innovation is as necessary as food and breathable air. It also tends to be expensive. Then you must allow me to be of service. Please accept this cauldron as a token of my respect and as a sample of, uh, of all I have to offer. He's a smith. Wow, thanks. That's so generous of you. But are you sure? Where I come from, cauldrons are pretty expensive. I only regret that I cannot offer all my many goods and services free of charge. Truly, it is a most impossible dilemma. I view each cauldron as a work of art. What is his accent? I cannot get it down. An art is made, meant to be freely accessible to all. And yet, I find I must cover all the costs of production at the very least. Otherwise, I shall have no materials with which to make these artworks. No, I'm talking about like I can't I can't pin an accent. Norwegian? I don't know. Nordic? He looks Nordic. How do I do Nordic? I gotta think of Thor. Nordic accent? I don't know a Nordic accent. 
and to leave these righteous flippers bereft of material and idle of purpose would be unthinkable. In the end, to put a price upon my cauldrons, this feels like a lesser sin. Speaking of art, nice tattoos. They really suit you. Of all life's canvases, none is more exquisite than the body. Especially a body that is rippling with muscles. But I hope you do not find my confidence off-putting. Such conviction is not so common here as it is in my homeland. I find it necessary, however, to hold myself in high regard. Those of us who put our creations on display, who are judged so openly and so often, should be the first to see and celebrate our own strength. We must be kind to ourselves. We must pump ourselves up. For it is only by fanning the sparks of pride within us that we can hope to ignite the flames of interest in another. I love him. Increase the interest applied in the next interest raising card by 50%. Solid advice. Solid as an anvil. I'm glad to know you, Sylvia, and I hope that I shall see you again. Please visit my market stall. See all that I have to offer. For the world can be a cold place, and those of us who toil to bring light and beauty into being, we must stand together! King. Absolute king. Celebrity chef Draven has come down in uh, favor of an all-meat dinner, leading to a surplus of unsold fruits and veggies. <gasps> fruits, fruit ingredients will cost more. Essence ingredients will cost less. Flower ingredients will cost more. Mmm, <gasps> good day to buy meat, perhaps. Pounding sand. Rafta has begun importing desert sand to expand its beaches, making the Bone Wastes region a little less treacherous for now. Bone Waste has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. Bone Waste ingredients will cost more. Mushroom Mire Regulation. Due to an over-harvesting concern, Baptiste is placing new restrictions on questing in the swamps. Heroes are temporarily limited in how much they can take from the area. Ah! Okay, so if you harvest too much, the next day you can't harvest as much or send as many adventurers. Or rather, if you do send adventurers, you get less loot. Makes sense, makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it seems like the Enchanted Forest is the only good place to adventure right now. All right. Nice of Muck Tuck to give you a new cauldron. Let's set it up in the shop now, shall we? We can brew multiple ingredients at a time, or multiple potions. Multiple batches, I should say. Customization. I love this game. Okay, so... Cauldron is currently in use. Collect... Okay, collect potions. All right. Okay, my mistake. Maybe we can upgrade the potion shop to have more cauldrons. Mana potions. Uh, four stars. We need fuel. That's what we need. How's Potionomics treating everyone? I'm still in, like, tutorial, like, area of the game, I presume, but I'm already loving it. I... It's so charming and adorable. Like... Already game of the year contender. There we go. Like, I can see the seeds being planted for all the mechanics and stuff. And like, I can already tell I'm gonna love this game so much. <gasps> so much nicer floors. Hmm, do we want stone flooring though? Ooh, wood floor, stone floor. Let's do stone floor for like back here because we don't want the potions we spill to seep into the boards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, yeah! Yeah! Yeah!
me putting a putting a chair in a spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. What do we brew? What do we brew? Um, hold on, let me see. What was the What's today's news again? way to see oh there we go there we go so it's mostly shop stuff so we don't have to worry about selling it all has to do with shopping ingredients so Actually, let's brew some potions for mint. A couple of health potions. And a couple of potions for us. Actually, let's just go full on health potion, really. No, that's not it. Is this it? No. Some health potions to sell, some health potions for mint. Without a taste trait, visual trait, sensation trait, sound trait. Yeah, I wonder how those are going to play in. Recommended completion po competition potions. Fire tonic. Okay. I'll brew some of those later. Can I throw a mana potion in there? No, I can't. Okay. All right. You need three on the list, I see. I'll keep one, I'll keep one fire tonic. Let's sell that. And... Hmm... Certain actions one more time for... We gotta set up like a schedule. Let's say morning, like early morning, is for work, and then afternoon and night is for shopping and like doing other things. Oh, but I just want to spend all day selling. There's too much good things I want to do in the day. Okay, let's see. Oh, the fire tonic. Mm -hmm. Increases all interest gain by 25%. Let's... So for one turn, it's this turn, is it? I should have played that first. He's gonna lose three patients. No, two. I... for some reason... Oh, it already calculates it in. I see. Okay. I thought it's like, he's going to lose one patient and then uh, two patients here. No, it already calculates it in at the end of the, uh, the end turn button. That's good. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Let's just do this and close. <laughs> Streamer, I don't know if I can handle your strongest potions. That's okay. We've got weak potions for you in the back. Oh, it's Baptiste. No special treatment for me, I insist. I might go for this one if you can sell me on it. Mmm. Boy, can I. Oh, but the combo. Okay, combo. What is this? Reduces all interest gained by 25%. Well, we can't let that happen now, can we? Try to pull one over on dear Baptiste. Baptiste. Okay, so... Oh man, that is really not as good. Holy crap. Alright, let's... Ah, oh, but can I last that long? 
yeah, I can. I'll just get a little bit more interest going. Just a little bit more. I can do one more setup. And then close out. It certainly sounds like you know what you're talking about. You're a pro, Sylvia. Take care. I almost slipped on an owl feather. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mana potion. So we want to do this one first. Because that'll enhance. Oh, but this doesn't... Okay, it doesn't enhance this, I don't think. Okay, no, it does. At the start of your turn, though. Mm. So that was kind of a waste. All right, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, he's getting impatient. Set him up. Reel him in. Press the attack. Close it out. Heck yeah, 90 gold. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Yeah, heck yeah. Let's see how our potion's going. Real wombo combo. Hey, five stars. All right, let's. <laughs> mana potions never hurt. I think that's what we're mostly gonna be doing for a lot of this is just health and mana for the most part. I can uh, see they really thought about how this selling thing works. Yeah, it's so good. Through this. Actually, I'm gonna take a moment to go do some shopping. Because some things are probably gonna be on sale. Muck Tux Forge! Oh, I love the music. Glass Cauldron. Though physically fragile, this cauldron of bone and glass has an impressive magical affinity for heat. Max ingredient 7, max magimens 140. Ah, okay, so you can put in a lot of ingredients, but they can't be too potent. So let's say, like this one, you can put in less ingredients, but it can hold more magimens. So like, yeah, there's like a trade-off. Gotcha. Because let's say you put in five ingredients and they're like 145, that'd be too much. But this one could hold it, like five ingredients for 145, and then you put in another one. I, these, this game is very well thought out. It's very well designed. I can see this becoming very involved. A bed of fine sand provides a suitable backdrop for a few potions. 5% price increase, additional 3% for tonics. I'll get the potions, because I sell a lot of potions. Many weak materials or a few strong materials, yeah. I'm honored by your decision to make the purchase. Honored and delighted. Hey, don't mention it. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, so we're both benefiting. From your lips the, to the ears of the ancestors. However, it must be said that even this fine, fine work you have selected could be better. Do not mistake me, it is a work of art, and I'm proud of it. But you, should you find yourself with a surplus of ingredients and disposable funds, then I would be able to enhance the item far beyond its current incarnation. You mean like an upgrade? An upgrade, yes! You could call it an upgrade, or a reimagining, or a revolutionary advancement in the corporeal manifestation of the arts. Upgrade is easier to remember. Very well. Remember this too. An upgrade to a cauldron can greatly increase the cauldron's maximum stable ingredients, or make even it might even increase the number of ingredients you can place in it. In it. An upgrade to a shelf will increase its surface area and stability, 
allowing you to place more potions upon it. Consider it, yes? It would bring me great joy to do this for you. And to you, it could bring great profit. Mm. He brims with confidence, yeah. Upgrades. Ah, costs one mushroom. I don't have a mushroom. Let's see. <laughs> I love the music in this game. God, my testosterone is just like through the roof when I hang out with that guy. There is a relationship mechanic, yes. Mm -hmm. So both this one, yeah, is going to be harder. And this one is going to be harder. So enchanted forest, tried and true. Um, 11. So what is this? Five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So she needs 16 health. And one, two, three, four, five. Five. That should work, right? Yeah, she's on one health. <laughs> Just enough. Yeah, I'm gonna dominate. She comes back. Just like completely battered and bruised. She's missing an arm. All right, let's go. That last potion counts, yeah. <laughs> the only HP that matters. And the quest was a success. Here are all the spoils. All right, sweet. Wait, was that a fire flower? Hold up. Hold up a minute. Fire flower. Whoa, 40, 20, 40 A, 20 D. Okay, it is spice. It is spicy, apparently, or smelly. It is very smelly. Hmm. Huge. Holy shit. All right, then. Let's see. Oh, mushrooms. Impstool mushroom. Okay. Hot damn, this is cheap. Yeah, this will likely mean that uh, this will disrupt the enchanted forest, though. I mean, might as well, right? Exploit. Completely exploit the uh, environment while we can. What is this? Uh, eight. Eight Bs. And this one, four B, but it's, it's nice to touch. Hmm. Four B, eight B. Well, this one's stronger. So, I'll get a few of these. How far are you in? I'm only day three. Sylvia, I hear you've been busy. Uh-oh, what have you heard exactly? Nothing especially interesting. Min just mentioned you've been working with the Heroes Guild. She's too nice to give me the real gossip. It's a major shortcoming, if I'm honest. I didn't realize you two know each other. I know all the heroes. After they go on their little adventures, they sell their, uh, their trash items to me. It's basically my whole business model. Trash comes in, trash goes out. Of course, they keep the best stuff for their clients, so I'm guessing they've got something decent in your inventory for in your inventory for once. Maybe something I've never seen before. Give it here. What? No! Why would I want the? Why would I do that? Suit yourself. I'm just trying to help you out. I know how this goes. You get your hands on a good ingredient, and you're all excited to use it in a potion, right? So you throw it in your cauldron, and poof, it's gone forever. That's right. Like. They're right. Like, I was like, oh man, this fire flower is cool. I have no idea what to use it for. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that way. What's the alternative? Easy. Hand it over to me instead. My clairvoyance lets me hone in on, one spe on specific ingredients. Meaning, if you give me something good, I'll be able to find more of it. 
and then I can start offering the ingredient for sale in my shop. You miss out on the ingredient gratif uh, the instant gratification, but you get guaranteed access to the ingredient in the future. Yeah, okay, I can see how that could come in handy. I'll let you know if I decide to take you up on it. There, see? You give me free stuff, and we all benefit. Mostly me, but still. I wouldn't expect you to operate any other way. But hey, since you're chummy with all the heroes, does this mean I'll be running into you at the guild hall? Nah. Despite the invaluable service I provide to the heroes, I'm not exactly welcome in their clubhouse. You set one fire, and suddenly everybody acts like you're a real liability. You see, you set two fires, and you get banned for life. Consider yourself warned, I guess. Now, do you want to buy something? I love they. Shit, Lord Quinn. <laughs> hmm, expand. All right. Let's see. 54. Why is it so expansive? Oh, this is how it would have cost now, I see. All right. Maybe? I don't know. Smart thinking, Sylvia. Wow, they just eat it. They eat the ingredient. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the goods. Hmm. Maybe we hang out and then spend the night at the shop. Actually, let's hang out with, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. They have heterochromia? Yeah, I noticed. It was very subtle. Muktuk. I require to hang out with you, king. Weightlifting. Hell yeah. Lifting weights shall lift our spirits. Lift them to the skies. Muktuk has an impressive collection of dumbbells stashed within his sled. He's quick to tell Sylvia. He forts them himself. Instead of pounds or kilograms, the weights are all labeled with icons of common animals. <laughs> Muktuk lifts the equivalent of two wild boars over his head, and he laughs joyfully. Sylvia figures she'll start with squirrels and work her way up. It did not <laughs> It did not kill you, so it must have made you stronger, yes? Sylvia feels a little closer to Muktuk and mildly less stressed. I'm gonna start using animals as a piece of measurement now. Oh, but, oh, but, but. I can make the time for a fellow artist. Rafta is indeed strange and delightful. Do you not find it so? In all my many travels, I've seen no place like it. You travel a lot, then. I have, but that is not unusual for a walrus. Those of us who seek excellence, who pursue mastery in our chosen field, must undertake a great pilgrimage, and mine has brought me here. Tell me more. Oh, I see. So let's stay on topic. Tell me more is like hearing more details. I see. I thought that was an actual roleplay question when we were hanging out with, uh... Shitlord. <laughs> I don't know much about walrus culture. Then I shall be glad to teach you. My homeland is a remote place marked by its harsh climate. Quinn, yeah, that's right. We are welcoming of outsiders, yet receive few visitors. And so, we take it upon ourselves to send our best and brightest out into the larger world as emissaries and pilgrims. We travelers are charged with a great and holy purpose. We are meant to spread our expertise far and wide, to dedicate ourselves to service in foreign lands as a path to self-improvement and enlightenment. Some of us have devoted ourselves to medicine, some of us, philosophy, while others have created artworks of such indescribable beauty, you would weep to look upon them. 
And that's why you're here, to share your artistic talent. You're correct! My pilgrimage has brought me to Rafter Shores, and here I shall remain until I've created a masterpiece. But to create something more remarkable than the land itself, this will be a challenge. People will tell you that Rafter is a wild place. Chaotic! But in fact, the opposite is true, for this land was built with intention. It was shaped by the hand of a powerful witch. Maven carved out the mountain. She charted the course of the rivers. The very flora and fauna have their origins in her lab. Hmm. She had a god complex. By the sounds of it, she got, uh, she got her kicks by subverting the natural order. But don't you see? It imposes our will upon this natural order. Is that not the very definition of craftsmanship? He's got a point. This, then, is what Rafter means to me. It is a living artwork. Upon its very essence, its very surface, I see the mark of its maker. <laughs> I like a guy who knows what he likes. You're very passionate, aren't you? I cannot hide my enthusiasm for such topics, and I think I should not try. Enthusiasm is like love or beauty. It is not diminished when it is shared. Wow, enthusiasm! Raises interest by 16! Oh, it costs three patience though. This is the big hefty card. Mm -hmm. I'll try to remember that when I'm back at shop. Routine can make it difficult, I know. But we must do all we can to muster enthusiasm for the beauty that is all around us. That is what travel teaches us in the end. To look around with hungry eyes. To truly see a place. And to find joy in all that is different and strange and new. Hefty card in deck or wimpy card in deck? I don't know. It's a, it's a tough, tough balance. <gasps> Ooh. Mint is back. I wonder if Sparkles versus Hearts is like romance versus friendship. I, I assume it's something like that. Well, I don't want to lock... Oh, I want to romance everybody, though. <laughs> I want to friendship everyone and romance everyone. Uh, let's see. Oh, we already got the ingredients. All right. Um, we'll send you out. Enchanted forest once again. Um, what is this? Is it still fifteen? Uh. Oh, I don't have enough. Nah. She's not gonna have the mana. Harem or polygamy? <laughs> uh, is it not the same? Um, okay, help me out, chat. Feel free to spoil this for me. Um, can you romance multiple people without them getting upset at you? Or can you only choose one? You can only choose one. Okay, well then, we gotta be very careful then. Uh, is it easy to accidentally romance someone, or will the game be clear of like, hey, you're gonna romance this person? The game will warn you before it happens. Okay, good, 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 good. The game will be hella clear. That's good, okay. Because I want to respond naturally, but I also, you know, don't want to accidentally romance someone that I don't want to. Thank you, Lord Wiggles and uh, Malcolm. For letting me know. Yeah, I understand that it's still a new game, so a lot of people wouldn't know. All right, back to the shop. Too bad, no poly. Yeah. I don't know whether to romance someone because I, Joe, like them, or romance them because they would be a good fit for uh, Sylvia. This game seems like the type where a poly function would be good. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh. You need to pay attention to what's going on in your inventory. What? What happened? An ingredient with a trait is an opportunity to strategize at the cauldron and to engage your customers' senses. 
Oh, the smells and senses. I see, I see. <laughs> oh, I'm Joe Cat. I'm so horrible. Everyone is falling in love with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have some notes on this, actually. I just need a quick refresher. Some special ingredients have not just... Uh, Magimans, but also traits. By placing these ingredients with traits into your brew, it will impart those traits into the potions. Using an ingredient with a positive trait in your brew will boost the value of the final potion. Be careful though, ingredients can also impart some less desirable traits that will lower what customers are willing to pay for a potion. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so this one has a good look. Whereas that fire flower had a bad smell. This one has a good taste. So ideally, if we find one with a bad one, we want to try and balance it out. I'm getting boosted? What does that mean? How am I getting boosted? What, like on Twitch? Recipes. Let's see. Let's experiment, actually. Let's improvise. Twitch boost is on. Oh. Let's do flower, the ghost light bloom. So 18 to 6. We could do like. Mm -hmm. It means I'm getting seen by more peeps? Oh, I'm glad. Oh gosh, that means I gotta I have to perform. If we do this, we can make a poison cure. Rot fly rot larva. <laughs> hmm. But I want to improvise. Let's put our biggest ingredients in. Let's put uh, ghost light bloom and murk water pearl. So it's one part A, one part D. I don't think we have anything with one part A, one part D, do we? No, it might unlock one of these potions. <laughs> Let's try it then. Oh, I can't brew it. Can I not? Need C. Well, I'm not... I'm trying to improvise, though. Not enough time left in the day. Oh, yeah, I need two. Mm, yeah. Oof, okay. All right, then. Oh, I hung out too much. I need to spend more time at the shop. Actually. Customize. Shelf. There we go. Now that's a good shelf. Introvert social system, yeah. I thought it said you could brew overnight. I thought so. Maybe not. Maybe it has to be at the end of the day. No? You can brew? Hold on. Because I want to improvise with these, right? But it's not letting me. I'm not trying to fill minimum C. Like, even... Okay, chat, here. <laughs> like, here, I'm gonna show you that it's not working. Look, even if I brew a normal potion... Oh. But can you not improvise? Hmm. It is on improvise mode. Here's on recipe mode. But if I take this out, it's empty. It's on improvise mode. Because if I put this in, and then do this, like, I don't want to do a minor, minor poison cure. Or rather this, and then this. Maybe they don't want to accidentally burn down the shop? Can your cauldron handle it? Yeah, it can. See? 
If you left the brew on recipe and come back, it'll stick to the recipe even though it says improvise. Well, how do I... Do I have to, like, go to this and then improvise? Well, now it's empty, right? It's, I'm not trying to be on recipe. How do I... Stop it from picking a recipe? You have to choose a new recipe? And then improvise? Improvise means you can go close or over the values of recipe? Or is it... Or is it that I'm not even allowed to make those potions even by accident? Because I thought improvise means you can mix whatever potions and unlock them through chance. Okay, so I'm not even allowed to make them. Alright. My mistake. Yeah, I was confused because it had the term improvise, but improvise just means that you're doing whatever because you remember the recipes. But recipe just means that you have it on hand so that you can follow it. Darn. Yeah, the game is nerfing me. It knows that I'm too strong. Let's get some health potions, actually. So basically, recipe means you have to follow the recipe, but if you want, you can throw in other stuff. But... Let's get health potions. There we go. Even the recipe appears in improvised mode, yeah. Balancing mechanics against good players. Uh, opening your shop requires at least two time segments. Oh, so I can't even do that. Okay. Um, deduction upon return to shop. Oh, I did my calculations wrong. Well, uh, we didn't make a lot of money today. We just lost a bunch more. Okay, let's, um, let's hang out with Mint, actually. We can't. I think I mucked up today. I think I mucked it up. You can't because it takes one to go back. I I mucked I mucked everything up. Oh god. Oh. Oh boy, getting to know mechanics of a game. Mm. I made 10 gold. Well, at least it's making some money. Learning day. The glamorous life of a potion witch. Um, it's not quite as I pictured it. game of the year. Well. Hold on. Uh, well. What do we have here? Hi, I'm Sylvia. What can I do for you? Oh, did you mistake me for a customer? That's adorable. I'm not a customer. My name is Roxanne, and I'm a potion maker of some renown around here. No, I suppose that makes us rivals. 
What? Oh, don't look so alarmed. I'm not here to sabotage you. And if I were, well, it appears someone else beat me to it. Oh my god, she's got the... She's... She... Fuck. Hold on. Hold on, chat. See this right here? This is peak female form. This is peak physical female form right here. This area right here. Um, developers of this game? Thank you. Thank you. But I'm simply here to wish you luck, dear. After all, just because we're rivals doesn't mean we have to be enemies. Really? Uh, wow, that's... that's a huge relief, actually. I'm new here, and I could use a little friendly advice. Absolutely. Start with hot, soapy water and vigorous scrubbing. What? No, I wanted to ask about a big, uh, the big competition that's coming up. Ah, oh, yes. What a day that will be. I can see it now. The adoring masses. The cries of adulation. The huge pile of gold soiled with the tears and viscera of my fallen opponents. I suppose I'll have to rinse it off before I spend it. So, will I see you there, cheering me on from the stands, perhaps? Actually, I'm planning on competing too. What a positively charming idea. Please disregard all that nonsense about me getting little pieces of you all over the winnings. How silly. Oh, good, I thought... No, I'll take the great care to eviscerate you before you get anywhere near that gold. I need... I need to go. I think she's supposed to be like a boss, but but I was like, she walked in and I was like, okay, I'm in love instantly. I like her. But she seems to be an antagonist of some kind. Uh, well, I believe Thank you. Have fun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, okay, here we go. So much for making new friends. Oh, honey, I said we weren't enemies. I never said we were friends. Well, she went from good luck to I'm going to enjoy disemboweling you awfully fast. She was right about one thing. Rafter's economy thrives on competition. We don't want to be the only potion shop in town. Right, uh, just the best one. Let's start with not the worst and work our way up from there. Increase in merchant customers. Ooh. The local merchant guild has imploded, freeing up the money that local merchants had set aside for dues. So I probably want to spend a lot of day working at the shop then. All right, not shopping day. Not a shopping day. I want fan art. I want fan art. Yeah, is chat okay? Everyone's, she's gone. Is everyone all right? Is everyone okay? Everyone good? Everyone safe? Okay. Whew. The bone waste has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. Bone waste. Okay. So we're gonna. This is gonna be a selling day. Now that you're finding your rhythm, you should try attracting more customers. When stocking shelves, think about placing some potions on display in the front row. Front window. Okay. 
Potions placed on display won't be sellable, but they'll draw in more shoppers. The more valuable the potion, the nicer the shelf, and the more likely you'll see an increase in customers. Ooh. Where can I buy this game? It is available on STEM. Steam. Available on Steam. Do you want to be Roxanne or date Roxanne? <laughs> I want to date Roxanne. Absolutely. No, I want Roxanne to date me. That's what I want. Let's see. Let's look at the brew. I don't want Roxanne to be my girlfriend. I want to be Roxanne's girlfriend. <laughs> Let's see. Let's brew. Can we brew that? Common mana potions. I guess it's just like the same as a mana potion, but with more magimins, right? Zoom. That's my assumption. But I don't have anything that has, like, that amount of magimins. Can we get a pitcher of water for the chat? <laughs> uh, they get six stars that rank. Oh, I see. Yes, that's what the tier, tier up. Current magimin amount and different magimin amount required to increase the value of the potion. I see, I see, I see. Good, good, good. Okay. We need fire, but for now, I'll just brew this. Okay. Let's put... Minor mana here. And health here. And fire tonic here. Yeah, we put- so we put the good mana potion out so that we can sell them the shitty mana potion. Alright. Let's... Let's open. Let's sell. I just stubbed my toe. How much for this one? It's probably more than I want to spend. <laughs> I feel bad actually selling to this guy. Also, this is a mana potion. I don't know how much this will actually help. I won't reel him in. Plus, are going to increase Sylvia's stress. Double stress received from all sources. Okay. Hmm. Not a good hand. Oh, he's gonna lower the price. Devalue potion. Okay. What do I have? The only thing I could do next turn, I'm gonna wait one more turn to have the plant the seed go. And I could possibly get a one cost. If I could get a one coster, please. Yes! Let's see, which one? This is four, this is five. So we'll do this and then close out. There we go. Nice. Uh, the game's been in development for years, and the devs have a blog with a lot of concept art. You're not wrong about the internet being fast, but it had its time. Yeah, this game, it's been, like, in the public eye for a bit now. Like, its characters have definitely been out there. I especially can't wait for Moth. And if you don't want to be spoiled, um, it is unlike any Moth you have ever seen. It's really cool. That's not so bad. Yep. 
set them up. Rail them in. I'm hoping for a close out. Close it out, close it out. Yeah! Oh, hey, Baptiste. seed is going to be valuable for us, but we'll try it. Okay, I need to close it out. Just one close it out. There we go. Heart of the cards. Okay, not bad. Wonder if your animations will get more confident? Yeah, that'd be interesting, huh? What is this game? This game is Potionomics. Oh, what? Oh no, okay. It's still brewing. Okay, I almost threw it away, threw it out. Ooh, that was close. Mm. I'm running out of potions to sell. That's okay though. We start small. We start small. It's okay for me to sell these potions because we start small. I feel bad because like in my mind I'm like, oh man, there's not a lot of variety. Hmm. Okay, tension. Applies tension. Double stress received from all sources. Oh no. Increase stress by two at the start of Sylvie's turn. Stress is pretty bad today. Yeah, I think this is a good like indicator of what it's like to work all day. If you work all day and no play, you uh, you get pretty stressed. Hmm. I can't play that because I have to. Uh, I could. I could play this and close the deal. Yeah, I'll play it, yeah. Because I don't want to... I don't have to wait one more turn. Okay. Yo, to plant the seeds in the first turn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're already getting the ball rolling. Stress card and then two stress. We'll block that. I could reel him in for nine because I'll be using my sympathy. Yeah, might as well get a little bit more going and then we can close the deal next turn. And close it out. Ran into a hero who had the nicest thing to say about the shop. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty good. Okay. Sympathy. Press the attack. Can we get another one? Nope. That's fine, too. And... Try out Muktuk's card. Oh, I forgot to swap out my cards. I should redo my deck. Into probably telling people about the shop. Queen shit. Absolute queen shit. Hmm. 
Is it better to just end my turn? I think so. Because interest is gonna go up. No, but he's gonna. Mm, no, 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 no. We're not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it for the biscuit. 60 is good. I made a lot of money. Lots of money today. Lots of money. Hmm. Yeah, let's check out our deck. Look at all these cards. Okay, what do I not want? I think I could do away with Scheme. It's a little too pricey. Same with Reel them In and set them up. They're, they're, nice, they're a nice bread and butter, but I find myself with too many set them ups by themselves. Um, let's see. I pump up. So this will increase our next thing. I don't like those buff cards that take a turn, but maybe this could be valuable. Um, I like cult, uh, Captivate. Increase patience by two. That's pretty good. Um, ah, we'll try it out. We'll try Pump Up. Pump up the jams. Pump it up. Ideally, I'm guessing the combo, the Wombo combo, is you use Pump It Up and Enthusiasm. But uh, good luck drawing them both in the same turn. Actually, you know what? Let's take out these. Wombo combo. Let's try it. Sylvia needs to put. Oh, yeah, that's right. Potions. Is our brew finished? Take it. Heck yeah. And let's do a few health potions. to go shopping for ingredients soon. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I messed it up. No, I... Oh, no, I'm... Oh, no. Did I mess it up? I think I messed it up. Did I mess it up? I think I did. Uh, you won't get as good a potion. Hmm, maybe. I thought I did it right. Oh, I put in the wrong ingredients. Bleh. Oh, well. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We'll sell this good potion. Actually, they're all good potions. That means we can keep one on display. Yeah, I don't want to waste my ingredients. I don't want to discard them completely. Oh, I had a feeling this one might not suck. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's plant the seed. And scheme. Ah, we got the combo! <laughs> we got the ultimate combo! First that, then this. Then 30 interest! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the perfect combo. We got sympathy, pump it up, and then enthusiasm. Big, big interest. Let's scheme. Sympathy. Pump it up. Close it out. Bam. Heck yeah. 70% markup. I dreamed this place was condemned. Ah, oh, this is a crappy hand. All right. Big increase. Big. Immediately rewarded, yeah. Captivate. Um, sympathy. Enthusiasm. Might as well plant the seed as well. We might have one more turn. Oh, wait. Did I close it? 
Did I accidentally click the wrong thing? I think I might have. Oh well. Oops. Oops. I didn't mean to. Alright. Big combo. Big combo. It hit max and sold? Oh, it was maxed out. I see. Oh, I didn't know that could happen. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. It, you can max out the price because can't make it go any higher. That would be bad if you could infinitely increase the price of the potion. You don't want to totally exploit these people. Press the attack. We can do one more sympathy. No, because that's not going to increase the percentage of sympathy. So we'll close it out. Heck yeah. <laughs> Just a little exploitation as a treat. Why not? Well, would you pay, like... <sighs> eventually, eventually, like, you would stop the haggling. You would be like, okay, that's as, that's as high as I'll go to buy it. If someone was like, here, have these gummy bears for $50. <laughs> you must have questions about your uncle. How he lived, how he died where he hid his valuables? I'm afraid you're out of luck there. This shop was all he owned. He put everything he had into it. And not just money. He put his whole heart into this place. If that's true, then why did he go off to explore the island? That's what happened to him, right? He broke the cardinal rule of potion making. He went out delivering his, uh, delving for his own ingredients. He should have stuck to the uh, counter and the cauldron and left the dangerous work to the professionals. To be fair, I'm pretty certain he'd do things differently if he could. You have to remember, Rafter has, was basically a ghost town when your uncle arrived here. There were fewer heroes around, which meant fewer resources, so even basic ingredients were costly. He had no choice but to go out and forage from time to time. Yeah, the owl is definitely the uncle. This is the uncle. That's my- that was my guess as well. As soon as he was like, your uncle would have done things differently, he got turned into an owl. <laughs> yeah, that's why we couldn't see his face and he's got uh, handsome facial hair. <laughs> his mistake wasn't how far he traveled. He wasn't content to just pluck magic mushrooms in the forest. No, he was too bold for that, too ambitious. In fact, your uncle would not be happy with anything less than an expedition to Maven Castle, the haunted, crumbling citadel that was once home to the Witch Queen herself. Uh, see, that just sounds super dangerous to me. Spoilers. I, we're making a prediction. It's not a spoilers, because we don't know. That's what I predict, is that the owl is the uncle. Oh, indeed. Everyone knows Maven's Castle is a dangerous place. It's located at the heart of the irritated... A disaster zone full of twisted creatures. But the greater the danger, the greater the loot. So Oswald was hoping to find some kind of edge out there, a way to make his potion stand out. That's right. It was a desperate decision made under great distress, but if you think about it, it was a rather daring plan. Your uncle, he blazed a trail into the poisoned heart of this perilous land. Bolstered by potions of his own making, he overcame a series of dangers, fighting, sneaking, and bribing his way to the cursed sanctuary of the tyrannical madwoman. Uh, at least we can assume that's what happened before he, uh, died. <laughs> Could he still be out there somewhere? Maybe he's alive and waiting to be rescued. Uh, nope, he's dead. Definitely dead. Super dead. <laughs> I guess if Helen's soul binding is a foolproof, as you said, it is, uh, said it is, she would know if he were alive. It's a shame. I was little when he moved here, so I never really knew him. Not really. But he remembered every birthday. He bought me my first easy make cauldron, actually. I always sort of felt like I was following in his footsteps. Now more than ever, I mean, here you are. You remind me of him, you know. Yeah, I'm sure the pall of doom hanging over my head makes for a striking resemblance. 
I meant as a I meant it as a compliment. <laughs> Easy bake oven, yeah. Yay, wow. Alright, we made a decent profit today. Nice, nice, nice. Does she not have a bed? Nope, she lives in the shop. Now that the shop is up and running, you might think you know what to expect. But customers will find new ways to keep you on your toes. You probably have some of them uh, asked to place a custom order soon. Oh, like when I would order two dozen donuts in advance, or an ice cream cake, or both. Man, I miss having disposable income. <laughs> Focus, would you? Because this could help with your cash flow concerns. Custom orders allow a customer to submit requests for a specific combination of potions. But you have a choice as to whether or not you'll take one take on the job. Accepting the request gives you an opportunity to sell multiple potions at once, as well as giving you time to gather whatever ingredients you need for the brew. Sounds smart to me. I'll see what people come up with and go from there. Excellent. Now, if only I could stop thinking about donuts. All right. Increase in craftsman customers. Increased value for uh, fire tonics. The bone wastes has stronger monsters and better loot. Increases in customers. Haggle customers will start with sympathy diva. Increased value for basic potions. Today might be another shop day, but I don't have a lot of potions to sell. We're five days out from the competition. We don't have a game plan yet, now's the time. I strongly recommend brews of at least common quality with four stars or better. Remember, upgrading your equipment at the store will be the key to success. Hmm. That is a good point. All right, let's, uh, let's go buy some things, actually. Muktuk, give me your best cauldron. So we don't need all that many measurements because we can't even fit that much. So let's get one with a lot of ingredients. <laughs> uh, let's see. Upgrade. Let's do this. I do not have golem's eye, unfortunately. Potion capacity one, so I can sell one potion, but it's like a big potion. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. How about you go out to the Mushroom Mire? I don't have any potions for you, unfortunately. Hold on, hold on. Uh, maybe I don't send her out, actually. I, I have to sell the potions. I can't... Mm, I, mm. It's the showcase pedestal, yeah. There we go. Ooh, that'll make some good health potions. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll invest in those. Garbage. This one's garbage. Yeah, let's get a lot of these. Gotta spend money to make money. It hurts, but... Bye-bye, uh. ecosystem. Alright, Quinn, give me stuff. Give me stuff. What do you got? There it is, the fire flower, but I don't need any. I need these. I wish I could just, like, buy, just click, like, max. Alright, buy it all, buy it all! You know what? Screw it, let's buy this too. Putting it all on. 
All in. I'm all in. Please don't suck. Please don't suck. Ah, they suck. Flawed brew. Okay. What the heck? Xeno Noir? What is this? Can't even fit that in this cauldron. What the H? I should have fed that to Quinn. I'll give it to Quinn later. I can't do it right now. Because I'd have to go back to town. Yeah, let's swap out the cauldron. There we go, glass cauldron. Ooh. Alright. Funky, yeah. Okay, well, we can't fit any, like, more ingredients than we would otherwise. <gasps> Wait, we can! So we get six of these. And then... Oh, <gasps> thank you so much! Oh, I love you! I love you. I love you. Mm, thank it's you so very much. very hot, though. Echo made me ramen! We can fit in this crappy seashell. Here we go. Minor fire tonic? Wait. Oh, I see, I see. I, I read that wrong. I keep thinking that B is used for potions, for uh, health potions. It's not. Sure, yeah, thank you. If you don't mind hearing me yap. Okay. I guess that's fine. So make a health potion. Yeah. Is this not health potion? No, health potion is... I see. I see. I was right. I just looked at it wrong. Okay. It is these two. I thought I knew the recipe, but I didn't. Because I was a fool. I need to buy fuel. I don't know how to get fuel. I need to send Mint out to adventure. Can chat have some ramen? Sure, you can share some of my ramen. All right. Potions. Health potions. Yeah. Oh my god, man, it's selling for so much. No, we gotta... Mm, yes. We need money. We're gonna sell the... Oh, I don't want to sell the good potion. We'll sell the mana potion. Keep the health potion. And open! I'm sure this will help on my quest. I'm sure of it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we draw something first. No, let's plant the seed. Yeah, we should have drawn Drew first. Um, don't want to scheme too much. Almost closed the deal. Didn't want to do that. Face monsters, but you know how to make me sweat. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. <laughs> Attack. Let's see attack. Pump it up. Pump up the jams. Enthusiasm. Ooh. Oh, so not when you hit 100%, but eventually if you get high enough, they'll just take it right then and there. I see, I see. So it's maxed out for them, but not 100. Oh, oh, max in the interest. I see. Max interest, not max price up. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. No one believes me, but I swear I saw a dragon yesterday. I'm gonna spend some money if that's all right with you. Ooh! Oh, I don't know if I can brew that. Um... Oh. Expires in three days. Ooh. I mean, what's the harm, right? What's the harm in taking it? I don't lose anything from not taking it. A lot of time? I guess so. 
Thank you. I love you. I don't have confidence I'll be able to brew this. They are commons, but I, do, I just don't have the ingredients. I'll try it, why not? This looks pretty great, if the price is right. In the meantime, they're gonna buy this. Perhaps. Wow, I can't play anything here. Um. Tension. Okay, I'll just block, I guess. It's cute, but a little rough. My nephew's crayon drawings. Oh god, ooh, ah, ooh. Um, eight. We'll brace. They're gonna lower the price, though. No. Well, yeah, I have sympathy next turn. Emotional damage. So you say you are... <laughs> you say you are attracted to more than one gender and you still cannot find a spouse. You are not just by gender, you are by yourself. Hiya. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is a crappy potion. I should have enthusiasmed. That was that was bad. All right, close deal. Ugh. Thanks. Come again. All right. Um, let's do this and brace. Enthusiasm. Wish I had to uh, pump it up for this, but that's okay. It's definitely not worth it. Oh, come on, guy! I spent, I did a lot of work on these potions. Hmm. Do I pump it up for press the attack, or... Do I hope to draw into something else? I do have another enthusiasm. Okay, the one thing I don't want to draw is plant the seed. Nice, okay. That's not too bad. Pump it up, close up. That's fine. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's alright. It's alright! You've accepted your first, cu uh, first custom order. I'll write down the details of any customer orders you currently have. You can also mail the order directly to the client from the list. Ah! Two mana potions. Okay. Let's see how the brew's doing. Nice. Because, like... Let's see, right? Like, I can... I really need, like, a good ingredient to... One part B, one part C. So if I put this... And this... And this... And this... And this... It's not enough. Ugh. It's, mm. it's just not enough. It's just not enough. Need better stuff. Need better stuff. It's not a mana potion. It's a minor mana potion. You're getting bonus stars because of balance? I guess. All right, we'll see. I, tr I, I trust you, chat. I'm putting my trust in you. I'm putting my faith in you. If you're wrong, I get to I get a kiss on the cheek for free. I get a free kiss. Let's sell the crappy potion. 
and put the this one. Also, you have to pay me five dollars. <gasps> hey, it's mint again. More potions? Are you venturing a lot today? Uh, the seed. That's a lot of stress. I don't want that much stress. We got the combo, though. Boom. Actually, I might as well close out now. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to let plant the seed go. So plant the seed goes off. <gasps> Captivate! Yes! We can go one more turn. We can get greedy. The greed is real! Hey, the greed paid off. Ooh, that's a hand. Okay. Um. Alright. Do I just two enthusi just two enthusiasms just right off the bat? Wow, alright. That worked out. Okay, enthusiasm. Better card than I expected. Ooh, I don't even know how to make those. Nah. I'm not, I don't have the permit to make those. Oh, wait, when did I have this? I guess it was a bonus brew, I don't know. Uh, what is this? Increase stress by one whenever a card is played. Ooh. Uh, I'll plant the seed and enthusiasm. I might have to close out this turn. Press the... Yeah, because I don't want I don't want more stress. Close it out. 53% ain't bad. Ain't bad. Your last set of health potions upgraded, I see. Alright, it's probably not finished yet. Yeah, it's not not finished. Thank you, Shackle Draconis. Thank you for the, for the five bucks. Just in case we were wrong, but I'm sure we were right. I hope you are. <laughs> but thank you for the five dollars nonetheless. Hey, if you're even if you're wrong, I got five dollars. I win. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, these are my last potions. They're not going to be in the display, unfortunately. But I gotta make some money so I can invest more money so I can make more money. Capitalism! Hmm. I'm gonna put one outside. This one. You know, noir berry. It can't fit. It can't fit in the cauldron. It's too big. The quest item for the big day is. Oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, I'll. So, uh, I don't want to spend. I could brew another one. I can brew another one of these. This one I'll keep because I need it. But I can brew another fire tonic. It's easy. It's easy. Oh, never mind. I can't even open. Okay. All right, let's travel then. Let's travel. Let's buy some stuff. Dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. We cleared you out. Consume ramen? It's still a little hot. Maybe we could... Give one to Mint, actually. 
Oh, feed the thing to Quinn, I see. Yeah, we can feed the thing to Quinn. Look how, I like how scrungly they are. <laughs> Like, they are the definition of scrungly. Yeah, look, they got heterochromia. Their left eye is brighter than their right one. Let's feed them. Uh, this, too. Because I do like this. Get more of it. This is a lot of ramen. <laughs> Echo gave me oh, there's so much noodles here. Yeah, it is still steaming. It's still steaming hot right now. I would like to upgrade. I cannot upgrade anything. I would like to buy a craft. I... Hmm. Extra for tonics, why not? And I assume I'm gonna get more room for shelves, so I'm just gonna buy another one of these. Hmm. Yeah, I can't invest because I already did. All right, Mint, let's see. I don't have any mana potions for you, but that's okay. We don't have to beat the boss. We can just get through. I don't have any potions for- Oh, because they're in the shop! Oh, I'm so sorry, Mint. She's not even gonna get that far. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I just need to just, like, send her out without potions. I should trust in her ability to just get at least some. I don't- I don't always have to get her to beat the boss. I should have been doing that before. Okay. Three items for 25 is good value, yeah. I'd say so. Would it be weird to have ramen for breakfast? I have ramen right now! <gasps> I have ramen! Me! Oh, hello, hello. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, God, hold on, I gotta fix my hair. <laughs> Hello, Roxanne. It's so nice of you to come in. Where else would I be? The way I've heard it, all over town. I have to admit, I'm impressed with what you've accomplished. Still on track to enter that competition, are you? I had my doubts, but you've proven me wrong. Well, thanks. That's big of you to admit. Oh, nonsense. It's obvious to anyone how hard you're working. The bags under your eyes tell the tale. I know you're busy, dear, but there's always time for a bit of self-care. I... what? That came out wrong. Forgive me. I only meant to say you look utterly haggard. I know what you're doing, Roxanne, but it isn't going to work. If it, and if anything, haggard around here. It's you, your mean girl routine. Oh, I thought she was going to be like, it's you. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I certainly don't have to stand here and be insulted. I have work to do. And it just so happens that I'm in the business. Of putting you out of business. Where's the wife button? I don't have the wife button. I'm sorry, chat. Oh, I'm in pain too. My heart, it yearns. Gem ingredients or ingredients will cost less. Bug ingredients will cost less. Portion for you to cost more. That's okay. Harvest, uh, harvest festival increase in customers. Agro customers will start off. Well, we can only get three customers anyway, so. Bone waste has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. Bone waste ingredients will cost more. So it looks like it's mushroom day today. 
increase value for basic potions. All right. Let's check our brew. Ah, all right. You were right, chat. I take it back. You were right. Look at that. Huh. Wow. Okay, then. I apologize. I was wrong. Chat was right? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> How do I unlock this? I assume with the different competitions, I'll unlock more and more potions to do. <laughs> you owe us a kiss. That wasn't that wasn't part of the deal. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't part of a deal. <laughs> there you go, chat. If I put this in and just nothing but those mandrakes, I could possibly <gasps> and then. Yeah. Do I have another thing that gives us both? No. But that's okay. We'll brew that. And let's see. Custom orders. There we go. Turn in. Heck yeah. It's a little smelly, but... You know, heck yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. We'll put this on display since basic potions are selling for a lot more. Um, and open. <laughs> he asked for mana potions, not good smelly potions. <laughs> Well, this hand sucks. Enthusiasm. Close it out. Heck yeah. All right. 110. Each was 102 gold. We sold each batch for 108. We lost a lot. Oh. They were worth 210 total on the shelf. Oh well. And you are gonna increase stress by one. Okay. When a card is played, right? Rep for filling out orders. Yeah. Rep is pretty important. We can always make more. Okay, we're gonna get stress for every card we play. Ouch. 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 All right. if I could just see them all displayed at once, the, uh, the things they're gonna do. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm. I, 
can last one more turn. If I gotta close it out next turn, which I do have two more. A, and also a Captivate. So I could... Nah, might as well close it out now. There we go. Pretty aight. Man, we were selling these for like 50 gold. We're selling them for like twice as much now. I need ingredients. I could just make more health potions, actually. Wait, no, this is fire tonic. Okay. Right, let's make a couple of fire tonics. Since those... I have a feeling tonics might be in, uh, in demand later. We've got a lot of times when potions have been in demand. Do we want to mess, change our deck around a little bit? Nah, it's nah, it's fine. I think it's pretty good. Okay. One of our best potions here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's e oh yeah, easy, easy peasy. I can do that easy. Okay. Watch this one turn kill. Ah, uh, not quite. But still pretty good. Obliterate! <laughs> Do you accept coupons? Yo, bro! but I'll wait for plant the seed to take one more turn. Captivate. Ah, I should have enthusiasmed. Close out. I should have schemed. Ah, oh, I played the... Fair enough. We need a magical Excel spreadsheet or something, yeah. Okay, I'm, uh... Hmm, I need ingredients. Let's go shopping. Expand. I want... Not that, because that sucks. Uh, oh yeah, because prices are increased today. Hmm. I will consume some of my ramen. Hey, loop! That'll make some really good health potions. Investigate. Hydro vertebrae. Ooh. Hmm. Don't 
don't know what potions that can make, but... Alright, hold on. I'm gonna move my mic, so... You don't... I'm gonna mute myself a little bit so you don't hear slurping, so I'll just play while I chew. Actually, you know what? Let's hang out with Mint. Those bushes don't know, won't know what hit them, mostly because they're just plants. Mint leads the way into the forest, where she gives Sylvia a simple wooden sword. She proceeds to whack away at various bushes, encouraging Sylvia to do the same. Some of the bushes drop coins. One even drops a gemstone. Mint suggests they donate their windfall to the local soup kitchen, and Sylvia agrees. I don't understand the science, but this sure beats checking the cushions for loose change. Sylvia feels a little closer to Mint and mildly less stressed. Oh, I can't rank who up. Damn it. Because I gotta have one more to come home. I can afford it. Even if they're marked up, I can afford those. Watch your fingers. Yeah, because I need ingredients more than I need money. Three days before competition. That... that dirty sneak. Who are we talking about? Roxanne! She keeps throwing curveballs at me. Perhaps, although whether or not wicked intentions are afoot, the local economy is turbulent. If we have any hope of surviving, we must be nimble, versatile, unflailingly vigilant. It would be easier if I had room for more cauldrons. Imagine if I could brew more than one type of potion at a time. Of course, if I were making more potions, I'd also want more shelving space. You're right. Carpentry would be a worthwhile investment. So as long as you don't blow through your meager profits. Gotta spend it to make it. Only, where do I spend it? Do you know any carpenters? I've only heard of one. A witch of great skill who lives at the very edge of the forest. Saffron is her name. Well, like the spice? All right, I'll fly out there and introduce myself. You know, in all my ample, f uh, you know, in all my ample free time, and yet you still find time to complain to me. Yo, upgrades? I think I can afford some upgrades. Oh, what the heck? Roxanne irresistible allure. Roxanne is laying it on thick with customers. Oh God. And flooding the market with mana potions. Sure, that's what you meant. Decrease value for mana potions. Well, luckily, I don't have any mana potions. Increase in customers, engine force. Okay. Here we go. 
Roxanne horny bait. She's, oh no, you guys, she's developing a parasocial relationship with her customers. Oh, it's nice out here. Oh, oh! Oh, she absolutely has a Valley Girl accent. I don't know why I gave it to, to Mint. This, sorry about that. Hmm, what should I give, like a, she, she definitely has a different Southern accent. Or maybe not. Maybe she has a Scottish accent. <laughs> I was just securing the timber I need to put the finishing touches on a new galleon. Yeah, she's not, just a, she's like more like a cowgirl. Whereas uh, Mint is like Southern, this is like Western. You're building a whole galleon from scratch? Well, nothing is made from nothing. The forest provides everything I need for my projects. And ev every carpenter should build a fleet every now and then. Keeps you, keeps you sharp. My name's Saffron, by the way. Would you like to hear more about my services? That's why I'm here. I'm Sylvia. I run a potion shop in town. Hello, Sylvia. You're most welcome here. And if potions are your business, then sooner or later you'll need to fuel for your cauldron's fire. Oh, she's got a tree arm. Wait a minute. I can supply whatever you need, from the magic-infused hardwood of this enchanted forest to more exotic fare. Sounds amazing. Hold on now, that's only the half of it. I'm also fully li a fully licensed carpenter of no small skill. Looking to make the most of your limited space? I'll fix her up in no time. Now, what I miss? Was there anything else you were looking for? Maybe some advice? I'm still pretty new to running a business. And I've been at it a long time. Really? How old are you? Ha! <laughs> well, there's your advice, I suppose. Never ask a witch her age. There's no shame in getting older. In fact, it's something to celebrate. I find it hard to argue with that, even if the years can feel like a burden at times. Let's just say I've been around long enough to see some real sights. If that's true, then you must have good advice to share. You're cute, Sylvia. I think I like you. Is this, is this what sapphic panic is like? Are there any lesbians in the chat? <laughs> You're cute too. I like your hat. I also like my hat. Keeps the sun out of my eyes. So maybe I do have some odd bits of wisdom to share. First, get a hat. Second, I can see that you're stressed. You carry tension in your shoulders. But you mustn't let the trials of life, whether the customer or dead or family drama, rule you. Yeah, I know women have it. I, I'm not saying I, I'm a sapphic. I'm a man. I'm a, I'm a cis man. But this game is allowing me to experience the saf <laughs> what it's like to be a sapphic, I guess. Instead, practice a bit of mental self-care in the form of meditation. Your business will only thrive when you yourself, yourself thrive. Decrease stress by two, ah. So, how'd I do? I can definitely use that, thanks. Why don't you make it a point to come back sooner? And I'll see what else I can come up with. I haven't had many visitors recently. And a visitor who can, uh, comes seeking wisdom is welcome indeed. Sapphic is another word for lesbian, for those who don't know. Okay, fuel. I would like some fuel, please. Wow, fuel is expensive. I will buy it anyway, because I need to invest. Carpentry, all right. Um, oh, I need crafting materials. Man. Shit. Take another bite of my ramen.
Sorry, I was eating ramen. Hold on. Sylvia, I love this death hall to pieces, but let's be real, it's a death trap waiting to happen. Wanna make a rounds with me? I could use extra set of eyes. Mint stalks the guild hall, her shoulders squared and her eyes steeled with determination. She produces a rough sheet of sandpaper, then sets to work smoothing down the sharp corners of every table she finds. She moves fragile vases to higher shelves. She paddocks a drawer full of kitchen cutlery, shurikens, and minor explosives. People just leaving their shit around. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were baby-proofing the guild hall. What's going on? Is one of the heroes, you know, expecting? Only in the sense that I'm expecting my colleagues to overindulge in and start bumping into things. Happens every night, and bruised shins are no fun on long hikes or dungeon delves. Hmm. It's kind of you to shield your colleagues. It's smart of you to keep- uh, I mean, they're basically the same thing. I'm gonna say she's kind. I want to do my part, you know? Be a team player. It won't surprise you to hear, being here is a total dream. <laughs> Should I pinch you? I'm sort of tempted to. Uh, don't you dare! If I'm dreaming, I don't want to wake up. Not that it isn't weird sometimes. I mean, I'm bunking with people I recognize from trading cards. I'm eating at the same table as people I've written fan fiction about. Uh, d d don't write fan fiction about real people. <laughs> they say you should never meet your heroes. Oh, meeting your heroes is awesome, but sharing a bathroom with them is just super weird. So you weren't exaggerating before. You really are a fangirl. Yeah, ever since I was little. I grew up in a quiet port town. I was, it was nice. You say nice like it's a bad thing. No, really, I had a great childhood. It was safe and happy. I was safe and happy. I have eight siblings who are all awesome in different ways. Oh. A little sniffly. And my dads are both book lovers. Gate dads, gate dads, gate dads! So we got bedtime stories every night. I remember fairy tales about bold princesses and fables about wily animals. But my favorites were the stories about real life heroes, like those, be like those best because they were true. I drift off to sleep, imagine what it would be like to be one of them. And now you're here. Yeah. Here, with the chance to be a hero on the level of those I used to dream about. I only hope I can live up to their example. I have a feeling you'll do great. No kidding. Well, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure learning a lot. The sparring sessions are intense. I've been doing some sparring of my own, the verbal kind. Here's a pointer I learned the hard way. Keep your guard up when you go on the offensive. That's probably sound advice whether you're wielding wooden swords or savvy words. Ah, raises interest by eight, gain two shield. Oh, it's like a both attack and defense. Double the dad's double the dad jokes. Yep. <laughs> no, no more asking who's the man or who's the woman. Now it's asking who makes the dad jokes and who sighs and scrunches their brow. I feel more formidable already. She gave us the sword and shield card, she did! Good, show them no mercy, Sylvia. You got what it takes to handle a grumpy customers. And sharp edge counterpart, uh, countertops too. We can, we can both def protect and attack. All right, we're gonna send her out to the mushroom place to at least get some mushrooms, hopefully. Yeah, sorry. What if they both make the dad jokes? Perhaps. If they both make the dad jokes, then I am sorry for Mint. Do you think whenever she's like, Dad, they're both like, 
yes, hon? And then they both look at each other and point fingers and like, eh, get it? <laughs> or like, she's like, hey, dad. And they're like, which one? And then they point fingers at each other. <laughs> One is Dad A, and the other is Dad 1. <laughs> Spider-Man pointing meme. Exactly. Let's... Ooh, what the heck is this? Beef... Reef Radish. I thought it said Beef Radish. Uh, this is garbage. This is... Okay. A bug? Would they eat a bug? Maybe. Um, sure. Eat this bug. Oh my gosh, they actually ate the bug. All right, great. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, see you later. <laughs> Quinn trash eater. Quinn is scrungly. Mmm, that's pretty good. Yeah, four. And let's go home. Actually, let's see what's in this. Oh yeah, I need crafting. I keep forgetting I need crafting materials to upgrade. Uh, yeah, all right. We need more shelf space. How's the brew coming? <laughs> Quinn sees a poisonous plant. Forbidden snack. Here we go. Okay, let's make... Alright, time to make health potions. Gonna make lots of health potions. No, we want to feed that to Quinn. Yeah! Alright, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. Oh no! It won't fit. Too many Magimans. Boop. Boop. No, that's the wrong one. Boop. Okay. And we shall also cook. Make it faster. You should see. So can we just make it like, no, it has to be at least one. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want this to brew all day. So we'll do that. custom order. So is there such a thing as reputation in this game? Like, if you don't fill in orders, your rep goes down or something? Unsure, yeah. Because I don't want my rep to go down. Well, this hand is shit. Um, why take the chance, right? I'll fill the order. I don't care if I lose out on some money.
Pardon if I'm not talking, I'm eating my ramen and I don't want you to, to hear all my slurping and slurping. Big sip. So, does anyone know, like, this has a check mark in it. Um, common health potion. It now has a check mark. I just need to brew it, right? I don't have to have it ready. I just have to brew it. So I, I'm okay to sell my common... I think you need to save it. Must have it in your inventory. Okay, all right. Then I, that's what I was wondering. I'll save it just in case. I'll keep it on display for now, then, if that's the case.
You can also have a higher grade. It doesn't have to be common. Okay. Um, 90, 36. Highest grade potion, keep one. Common needs to be minimum. You can take the potions from the display for the command. Okay. Uh, all right. Common seems to be minimum. I hope so. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn in those potions because I can always make more. I can always make health potions are easy. I'm gonna take these off the shelf and sure that might not mean customers come in, but um, I'm gonna turn this in because that will give us more than what these sell for. But I, I could potentially sell them for more, but it's whatever. I wanna turn this in because it's gonna bug me. So if I go to brew, it's still checkmarked. Yeah. If you don't have one for each of the quests or better equals bad. Gotcha. Okay, so I have to have one left. All right, that's fine. Each of the items or better. Okay, so I can have one that's better. Oh, save. I'd, I didn't realize there was no... Oh, there is an autosave. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Back to Munchin. the problem right here's the problem with this it's like these are really easy potions to make but i can't i'm like making way bigger potions than this by accident almost because i can only make a certain amount of potions a day um so i want to make them the best ones that i can make right but like this isn't worth it like i they're i'm better off selling them to people have to shove a lot of ingredients uh, in those it's minor potions yeah but still like it's like if I can only make three potions a day I might as well make the best potions I can right so that I can sell them on the store because this is making me way more money it takes longer to brew i didn't realize that that's true it's i only feel like it's like oh it's the same but better because i put a bunch of fuel in you're right chad i didn't realize that that is a very good point
Yeah. 
All right, at this point, money is no object. I need to craft potions. I need ingredients and I need to craft. Pirate King plays. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Oh, sorry. It kills. I need mushrooms. Not those mushrooms, though. But those are pretty good. Hmm. No, because I want to send mint into there. Well, that'll be tomorrow then. Oh, these are like the same thing. But this is just from uh, bone wastes. Well, since I'm sending mint over... Oh, but this is more expensive, I see. Hmm. Well, I'm sending mints over today, so this shouldn't be a problem until tomorrow. Hmm. <clears throat> Heard good things about this game. Hope it goes well. I'm enjoying it so far. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll go home to collect our potions, because I, I brewed some mana potions. All right, they're gonna be very good. Very good mana potions. They should be finished now. So I'm gonna go, you know, in and out. Brew, brew some stuff and then go out. And then give it to Mint. then we can do is brew some gosh darn helleth potions no nope, won't fit okay can only fit 140 this is 60 wait can i not fit that i can okay that's not very good. Hmm. I didn't feed this to Quinn yet, did I? I think I want to. In the meantime, we'll just use some of these because we fed them to Quinn. So they should have them. This in, and then a bunch of these. Yeah, that's pretty close. Perfect. And we want to speed that up so that we can have those ready to sell. And let's go back to town. Too quick. Interesting that you don't have to buy bottles. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually kind of grateful. Oh, you can select multiple. This seems like a good future investment. There we go. Nom 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 nom. I don't want to buy now. All right, mint. Ready to go on an adventure. You are going to be so stock full of potions. Bring me some good loot. Let's see, seven. Adventure, adventuring obstacle that will poison the hero. Oh, I need to make a poison cure. So even if she has like all the mana and health in the world, 
Even the hardiest tank is vulnerable to poison. Have anything for that? Yeah, that's gonna stop her. Mm. She will still come back with loot, but I want her to make it to the end, which I think she can. She's got the health for it. She can take... So the, this guy, you can't see, he's got seven. So that's 14. She has 16 health. If I can get her a, a magic potion, she can make it through. Or, or an antidote, rather. Oh, but that's going to take me time to get back. I want to send her out right now. I'll send her out right now. She'll at least come back with three items, and that's something. I just want mushrooms! Three is more than zero, that's true. Yep, and... Well, today is a good day for health potions, so we'll brew a bunch of health potions. Do I have any high A's? I do not. I fed them all to Quinn. But this one smells nice, I guess. <gasps> Faye here! Thank you for raiding! Welcome! To the potion shop. That'll have to do. Uh, bruising too. I don't need to use any fuel for that. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, health potions are selling for a lot, so we'll put that one on display. Sell these. Heck yes. Maybe that one. Nope, that is not good. I'll swap these. There we go. I think that's good. Here we go. P.S. I love your videos. I'm glad. This place is shaping up nicely. Wait. Plant the seed. No need to sympathy because you're just going to take an extra turn. Well, this hand sucks. Brace for the stress. What is this? Draw one fe fewer cards at the beginning of the next turn. That's okay. Let's see if I can combo something. Go. <gasps> Perfect combo. Heck yeah. Maxed out. And again, pretty crappy hand. Maybe you should take away the, uh, the block cards, because they don't really do me much. And I'll take the stress damage. I'm okay with that. If I can get a... some more patience. There we go, captivating. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! If only. All right. It was worth a shot. Oh, it's Muktuk! What's up? No 
Okay, well, bad hand. Trust it will be rewarded. <laughs> I'm only human. Alright, what's the stress card? Okay. Be stressed by one. Alright. Wow! Unlucky hand. Uh, use your own attack against you. Hiya! It's pretty okay. Peppermint ice cream? I'm glad. Enjoy your ice cream. His stress attack is believing in you. <laughs> oh, so stressful. I have to meet expectations. Bottle. Just common. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll keep these here so that I'm sure that they are still available. And then I will f brew the Wachimahuzit fire tonic. That's what I'll do. Quinn already ate that one, so... Yeah, these. They're basic ingredients, but they'll have to do. Two additional stars in completion with a chance of getting a bonus star. So this one will definitely be the next tier, which is what we need. Yeah, I'll do the cure potion later. I'm just getting a little stressed out because it's only two more days, so tomorrow's the next day. I want to make sure I have this potion ready first. Oh, whoops. That money is no object right now. I'll check on Mint tomorrow. I also forgot to fix my deck. Crap. for a close it out at the cost of some stress. I've yet to have uh, a customer completely lose patience though, so that's pretty good. Pretty proud of that, pretty poggers. Hello from Australia, hello Australia. No, no, no. Another crappy hand, all right. Yeesh. Poor draws, this customer. There we go. I don't have to do. Yeah, I gotta change up my deck. Sympathy. 
empathy, pump up, and enthusiasm. Hopefully I can get a close it out next turn. Yep, there it is. That's what I was looking for. I wonder if Al knows how to sleep, how to sweep. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Min. Need a potion? Maybe later. I'm actually here to talk about something a little awkward. I don't like to gossip about people, but I also don't believe in keeping secrets. Sometimes it can be imposs an impossible bind. Whatever you need to tell me, I can keep it in confidence. It's about Roxanne. I know you're scheduled to go up against her in the competition, and I think she's up to something. She definitely has an up-to-no-good air about her, but it sounds like you've been ta uh, you're talking about something specific. Yeah, one of my guildmates bought some healing potions from her recently. He had paid a petty, uh, pretty sum for them. But when he shared one with an injured colleague, it didn't work. It didn't do anything at all. Yikes. Big yikes. We go into some pretty dangerous situations, so a faulty health potion is a big deal. It could have been really bad, Sylvia. Fortunately, this time, the injury in question was just a paper cut. <laughs> there are a lot of paper cuts since Baptiste started routing, <laughs> routing so many forms. Taking a health potion for a wee little paper cut? So you're saying that Roxanne's potions aren't very effective? It's more than that. After what happened, I'm not sure they even are potions. I brought my concerns to Baptiste, but he said an inquiry would take weeks. It wouldn't be done in time to help you. You've helped me just by coming to me with this. Now I'm sure I'm the better potion maker. And I refuse to lose to a phony. So if, it, if I weren't, uh, if I, if I wasn't fired up before, I sure am now. Good, because I'm rooting for you, Sylvia, and I'm not the only one. Mm. They sting for how small they are, TBH. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the tea. Yeah, we can spill the tea, guys. Such tea. Health potions are probably like band-aids. Ah, uh, could be, yeah. Oh, increased value of fire tonics. I have fire tonics, but I have to keep one though. Increase in customers, increase in value of basic potions. Okay, cool. We can brew the tea, that's true. Hey, Got it. So how come these two aren't checked, I wonder? Do I have to like, put it in or something? Fix your deck? I'll fix my deck. You need a four star common or higher? Is it not? Oh! Oh! That's bad. Oh, I thought I had. Oh! Oh! The stars. So it's not just the size of the potion, the stars need to be that high too. Shit! We tried to warn you. I thought I understood. I thought I understood. And then when I was like, oh, I gotta do that. And then you guys were like, you just need that size. Better make it now. Yeah, I'll, I'll brew, hold on. I'm gonna brew some potions to sell and then I'll go to town to get ingredients from Quinn, especially, because I, I gave Quinn some ingredients. So that should help. I'll brew some basic ones now to sell. Oh, 
I don't have that many. You can still win. Yeah, I can still win. I can still do it. If I just buy some ingredients, I'm not going to brew anything. Yes, I am going to brew some stuff. If you get a bit lucky, yeah. I don't need luck. I can do this. I can do this without luck. So here's what I'll do. I'll brew it in one while I'm out while I'm out in town. This is gonna brew. Cause it's only gonna take one turn. I'm gonna go to Quinn. I'm gonna buy a sh shark load of those ingredients that I just fed them. For example, this and this. So it's A and C. Right? Yeah, A and C. So... I'll buy this for mana potions. Money is no object. I will spare no expense. I'll buy this. Buy this. Money is in an object. I'll spare no expense. Buy this for the mana potions. No, it's expensive. Buy this for health. No, I don't need health potions. My health potions are fine. B and C for mana potions. I need a mana potion. Okay, so... Yeah, I probably need to buy that. Money is no object and then say it's too expensive. Well, yeah Don't you know I'm a liar Bugs uh, Eat this bug Why don't I feed them that? That's crappy. I guess it makes things t taste nice. Why does the grub make things taste nice? Whatever. A liar who's about to lose a competition. Oh yeah, you know it. Can I upgrade anything, please? No, okay, I didn't think so. Mushrooms, why are you mushrooms? I have no time to try and get mushrooms. I just need to brew the potions with what I got. I can win with what I have. Wonderful. Squid! River Calamari. Uh, it does not feel good to eat, though, apparently. This one does. Why does a rock feel good in the potion? Alright. Slime? Ooh, oohs. I'll buy it. So apparently this rare ingredient bonus is to incentivize you to get it so that you can get ingredients that aren't even on the table. That's a cool design. It makes it so that you get like leftover ingredients that you can give to Quinn to eat. Like discover new ingredients. Rocks make it vitamin water. I guess that makes sense. Xenoplasm. Whoa, 55, 55, 22. Here, eat that. Eat this. Eat this. Wow, that's a big one. Uh, and eat this. Uh, 
All right. Oh, I should have. Oh, I should have visited Mint. Ah, crap. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, brew. Let's brew, shall we? Let's bottle that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be whatever basic potions. But now we're gonna have enough time. Don't worry. Since we have two two slots in the day, we'll have them both. We shall have them both. Boop. And a boop. And... We'll hide the potions, I don't need to see those. Oh, I'm out of that ingredient. Oh, crap. What if I put... I should have bought... Oh, I'm an idiot. It's okay. I can still make mana potions and then go out to shop. I'll make mana potions right now. Yeah, I didn't buy any A's. I didn't buy anything that has A's. I only have flowers. It's okay, I got this. And I got this. That should do it, hopefully. What is this? What are you? Sixty forty. If I put you fifty four forty. Hmm. Forty two forty. you out, put another one of you in, take you out, put you in, no, I don't have enough yellow, no, I do have enough yellow, I just, hold on, hold on. let me reset, I'm getting confusion, so, put this, this, and this, and this. No. And this. Enough. Let's see. I need a little bit more yellow, so take out one of these. I'm gonna put this in instead. Oh man. I'm a stressin'. I'm a stressin' chat. I'll brew this, we'll see. This is not gonna be a shopping, this is not gonna be a shop day. That's my mistake. I keep thinking that I need to sell. I don't need to sell today. I don't need to sell. I can go buy stuff while that's brewing. We'll go to Quinn, we'll buy ingredients. That, that was my mistake. There it is. I need to buy mandrake root. And also, Fay berries. That was my mistake. And these. I can only afford that. We're breaking the bank here, but I am not losing to that big titty, thick thighed mommy milkers witch phony.
I did forget to visit Mint just as I saw that message. Mint can wait. Please? Oh no, come on. Maybe I should have saved those ingredients. Maybe that was a mistake. Hmm. It's not good enough. Yeah, I think I lose. I need to reload. How do I reload? Yeah, return to title. Yeah, because I think if I lose, I uh, need to... Yeah, morning. Here we go. If I lose, I think I'll have to reload save anyway. Okay, so... We're not gonna brew anything. Because we need our ingredients. That's my problem. I'm trying to be efficient. What? Brewing? Okay, I guess that's brewing. Is there a penalty for using as many ingredients as possible? There's a limit to how many ingredients you can make, you can use there. Uh, so, not a penalty, but there is a limit. Okay. I think we just need to keep all the ingredients we have for now. We need to keep it all. Much as I would like to feed it to Quinn, we need to keep it because we need to brew. It is based on what cauldron you use, yes. So what do we need? We need fey berries. We need unicorn horns. We need reef radishes. We need lice. We need slippery tongue. We need crocodile tooth. We need more things that give us yellow. Because all we got really is crocodile tooth. Because it can't be used to make mana potions, unfortunately. Maybe we can buy this. Yeah, this will this will be good. Hmm. All right. No, you can't hold down the plus. Someone was like, "You can hold it down." No, you can't. Mint. 
Mushrooms! We can brew more. We can upgrade and brew more. Oh, thank God. Mint, you are a savior. And she's level three. Here, take this crappy mana potion. Here you go. You're not gonna make it all the way through, but that's okay. Mint the run saver. Oh no, we need a cactus. Oh no. Man. Nope, the run's still dead. No, we can do it. We can do this. We can do this. I, I believe in it. I believe in us. I believe in the heart of the cards. We're gonna get the ingredients we get from Baptiste. Apparently we don't. Never mind. Um, we'll get these. Well, it doesn't matter what we invest here because it's gonna come later. It's gonna come tomorrow. So it doesn't much matter. It is possible to still win. It is. It absolutely is. Okay. Bottle this. These will be sold because they're garbage. Okay. You want yellow. She doesn't want yellow. Blue and yellow, no. Put this. Ba-bam. Balance of Magimans is too unstable. Can't brew because of this thing? Oh, this isn't, oh, that's not the proper, I was putting in green. Wrong potion. Sorry, I'm just so stressed. I'm so stressed out. Ugh. I wasn't looking at chat. Put this, this. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Okay, A, here, I can, s I'll, I'll sort them, there we go. That works. That's what I should have done. It's not good enough. It's not. <laughs> what if? Okay, what if I took all these out? Put this in. And a bunch more of these. Oh, it's too big. Maybe? No, I have it. I got it. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, no, it's good. Okay. Yeah, no, this is fine. And then it will go up one more star. Okay, let's let's speed this up. Oh, all right. Now we're cooking with cadmium. Do 
I even take- do I even bother to sell anything today? Maybe, I am running out of money. There we go. Girlfriend. No one ever said fire was benevolent. That's true. That's true. And then we need to make a mana potion after this. So I'm running out of money. I'll open the shop once. That still gives us three more time slots. It's trash, trash. <gasps> nice, nice. That's a good sign, we win. We win. <gasps> I meant. Thank you. You were the one who gave us good luck. Even though the mushrooms weren't enough to build our thingy, it was good luck. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Nope. I need to give those to my girlfriend. Hmm. This is a really good card. I should have just played pump it, pump it up. Is it better for me to wait? No, I might as well just enthusiasm now. Close. Attack. Plant a seed. Pump it up. Enthusiasm! And then I will close it out next turn. Oh, never mind. It's done. Alright, great. Combo. Alright, let's see. Let's see. This is gonna be heckin' big ol' big ol' fire. All right, done. Okay, mana potion. Here we go. This is it. We got this. We got this. We absolutely have this one. It's in the bag. It is in the bag. C. I need C. I would love to feed that to Quinn, but unfortunately, I think we might need to use it. Thirty-two. Holy crap! So I just put this in, like, blam. That's most of my cauldron. I don't have the other cauldron though. The other cauldron that can take more. Use this. this 
and a few unicorn horns should do it. Or cocoons. There we go. That'll do it, maybe. Oh, if we fit one, one more, and then this. Yeah, I have it. I'm just trying to make it even better. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Oh, but the orchid, the orchid is so good though. Mm. I don't need, I don't need to do the fire. Well, I want it to be done by the time I'm finished shopping, so that, or finished selling, so. I'll have one slot left to take the potions out. We mathed it out. We did it! Yay! Oh, man. Wow, 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 wow. We'll put this on display. Um, yeah, there it is. We'll keep this one. Put this on display so that we keep it. And then sell these. This is the correct one, right? Four stars. Four stars, okay. All right, so that's gonna take two slots and then we're gonna have one more to take the potions out. Okay. No. Change your display shelves for the ones that give bonus a tonic. Oh, well. I have a tip. Maybe don't backseat. Let's see. This will be fine. This will be fine as well. And this. And... Then why not? All in one turn. Oh, it's Saffron! Wonder if you might help with me with something. Vantage Vintage. I can't even make that right now. No, I can, but I'm I'm sorry. Not not right now. Okay, what are you gonna do? Stalwart prevents the next debuff from taking effect on the customer. Ooh. Okay, so I guess you won't be taking a debuff. I'm not gonna use these. Carpenter needs a fire potion. I guess so. Enthusiasm. I'll take the stress damage. That's not my competition potion, don't worry. My competition potion is on display so that I won't lose it. There we go. Sounds weirder than a rose in bloom. Whoa, <laughs> stretchy arm. Stretchy branch arm. Hiya. Wait a turn. Hmm. Well, 
maybe there's something? Nope. Alright. Okay, and the brew. There we are. All three ready. And boom, five star, four star, zero star, greater. All right, GG, GG! Let's brew something for tomorrow. Yeah, I'll save, I'll save. Let's congratulate ourselves by brewing this good old poison cure for mint. We can buy more of these. go. Man, this one's hard. Look at that. Jeez. And... Oh no, that's everything. Hmm. Alright, we'll take the pearl out. Yeah, that's good enough. Um... I see, oh, okay. You know what's funny? I was like, oh, why would you ever put in the one that only gives you four? It's so that you can balance the potion. Because the better the balance, the more, the higher like quality the potion will be. So bigger numbers is not always inherently better. Interesting way of doing things. I like it, that's neat. We'll brew this for tomorrow. Science and math. All right, I guess we can do something uh, for the rest of our day. Also save. There we go. We can travel. Let's go shopping. Let's give everyone a gift, shall we? <laughs> Here, a spider. What would Baptiste like? Probably likes flowers or something. Um, an orchid. <laughs> I sin uh, scarcely deserve such a gift. I thought he was going to say, I sincerely deserve such a gift. Crushed it, so yeah, I crushed it. Oh, yeah. Got some fuel, too. Sick. I'm gonna gift you something. I'm gonna gift you a unicorn horn. You seem to like fantasy things. Oh, so nice. And I'll send you off to here, maybe? Fire, so inflict damage. So this is where you would need a fire tonic. So let's do that. And this plus three fire resistance. Oh, is it? Oh, six. So it's like, deal one. Will they deal one damage now? Mana potion. Okay, so this. Yeah, these aren't the potions on display. So don't worry about that. These are not the potions that are going to be on display. So if I do this... Yeah, she'll only take one. Okay. Hmm. Wonder if she can tank that. Probably not. Nope. Ah, I need better potions for her. 
All right, we'll save. We'll save this then, and uh, try this. Yeah, this gives the same results. We'll do this. Well, I can't believe <laughs> we got it at the last, in the last like moment in the last day. I was not paying attention. Well, I know better now. I know better now. Let's buy some of these ingredients. Just so we're stocked up and ready. Not you. Ready for another day. And we'll feed you the rest of the stuff that I have. So we can buy more. Whew. She's gonna come back with so much loot. Oh yeah. Is Quinn on a broom or a high signpost? Uh, her, uh, their broom has a signpost. Because they're a shop. They're a witch and they have a... a <laughs> which is very cute and clever. That must taste awful together. They don't seem to care. Craft. Yeah, I don't have... Well, we'll buy this one. Just so we can have multiple different cauldrons. Yeah, we're save. I'm gonna save my mushrooms. I need a cactus. That's what I need. For all the expanding we're gonna do. Alright. I think that's everything. Is the walrus able to be romanced? Yes, he is. <sighs> Damn cactus. You evade me once more. I will give you... Mandrake root? Sure. <laughs> you seem to like nature things. Actually, I didn't give anything to Quinn or Maktak, so we'll give them stuff. Quinn, here's a spider. Maktak. Here is a reef radish, but this is maybe pushing it. Oh, I guess he doesn't like it. Uh, okay. I thought since reef uh, rhymes with beef, I can scarcely believe how fast the week has gone. You are prepared for tomorrow's challenge? Yes, I'm ready to show this town what I got. I certainly won't be betting against you. Oh. Everybody call. <laughs> All right. Hello, Roxanne. How nice of you to drop in. I was merely uh, stretching my muscles and um, doing nice squats on my very strong legs and. <clears throat> Who am I kidding? I was playing video games. I see you haven't burned the place down yet. A pity. Roxanne, welcome back to my humble shop. You don't need to wheel out the folksy charm for me, dear. I know where we stand. Do you? Because I never really, I've never really been sure. It's always the same with you. The false humility, the feigned politeness. Well, all this time, you've been preaching, uh, poaching my customers. That's not how I see it. I'd like to think this town, this market, is big enough for the both of us. If your business is suffering, maybe it's because there's less to your potions than meets the eye. I 
don't know what you're, uh, what you think you're implying. My potions are completely le legitimate. And even if you'd somehow figured out that they weren't, who would believe your sour belly aching over my natural charms? I don't need to win a popularity contest. I just need to show everybody the truth. I'm the better potion maker and the better negotiator. Then it's a contest of substance versus style. I know which side I'd bet on. Get some help, Sylvia. Tomorrow, we tango. And now I've got moves like you've never seen before. I'm okay. The nerves of that woman. Don't let her get under your skin. I would like her to... Never mind. Whatever she has planned for tomorrow, you are equal to it. Thanks, Al. I hope you're right. I am right. I'm sure of it. Now, get some rest, for tomorrow will be a day like a, unlike any other. All right, we spent a lot of money today, but it was worth it. We got it. We're ready. <laughs> She's doing this on purpose. She is. Don't you see what this is doing to me? Come on, everyone. Come one, come all, and welcome to Rafter's inaugural market competition. To find... Hold on. Two fine competitors stand before us today, but only one can triumph. The other will be fed to the griffins. I'm joking, of course. There was no budget for griffins. I am Baptiste, the Grand Master of the local chapter of the Heroes Guild, and your esteemable Master of Ceremonies for today's historic contest. The rules are simple. Each contestant was asked to prepare potions in advance. The potions will be considered one at a time. We'll see two potions from each contestant. And in the event of a tie, a third potion will be evaluated. Contestants may use their negotiating skills to argue for a better price. The winner of each round is the person whose potion fetches the greatest sum. The first to win two rounds is the victor. Now, let's meet our contestants. Oh, so I don't actually need the potion. I just need to beat her in a price competition. The potion will just help. I should have saved that, that greater healing potion. Damn. First up is a woman who does not have time for your nonsense. Hailing from, and I quote, some place very hot. She's known for making potions of tremendous beauty. Give it up for the beguiling, the sophisticated, Roxanne! I'd hate to be in your shoes right now, Sylvia. I mean, I wouldn't want to be mistaken for a clown. Oh my god! Jeez. Our next competitor is the new to Rafter, but she's already made quite an impression. A recent colleague, gradu college graduate, what she lacks in experience she makes up for with pluck. Customers describe her as doing the best she can, probably, and in my price range. Let's give a warm rafter welcome to Sylvia! Hey, Roxanne. You're a fraud, you, you're washed up has been, you look stupid. <laughs> You look stupid. <laughs> Seriously, I hate your hat so much I could scream right now. How dare you? <clears throat> of course, we mustn't neglect this season's judge. It is my genuine honor to introduce... Robin! That's right, Robin the Witch Slayer. Robin the Tastemaker. He's Rafter's homegrown hero, and he's here to decide today's winner. It is a privilege, truly. I'm eager to see you, what the contestants can do. I think that's our cue. Places, everyone! We'll take our places, all right. Oh no, she does the ho ho ho! 
whole thing. Yeah, she did the thing. She did the anime thing. Sylvia's place is right here beneath my fashionable boots. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. And we're off! Round one. Have you ever seen such a beauty? It's certainly alluring, but how effective is it? I assure you, this one potion you can judge by appearances. In that case, it's a treasure. I'll value it at... 82. Okay, I have to beat 82. I can beat 82. Now let's hear it from contestant number two. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so it's only a recommendation. I see. It's recommended that you have at least that much. Um, 82. I don't have to use my co my health potion, right? It needs to be a health potion? Nope. Needs to be a health potion? Someone said no. Is it yet? Yeah, use whatever it does? It says so at the left? Is it or- hold on, let me pull the chat. Do I need to match the potion? Yes, or no. Am I really going to trust chat? Well, how, how else am I gonna know, you know? Probably makes it easier to grade with a penalty if you don't. But do you do you know that? How do you know that? It didn't say that. I feel like this game wouldn't pull a fast one not like that. Okay. All right. So I have to use it. All right. I better be good at haggling. One potion coming right up. I recognize that health potion anywhere. I believe it meets the requirements. Yes. Well then, that's not too shabby, is it? I'd, app I'd apprise this at... But why don't you tell me more about it? Oh, he went down. It's because it's it doesn't taste good or smell good. No, I'm ready. Here we go. Planting the seed, okay. Not a bad start. I've got 20, I've got 25 patients, I'm good. I've got plenty of time. He's going to see right through you. Oh god, what's this? Reduce interest applied by 25%. Okay, in that case, um... I don't want to draw anything this turn with that debuff. So, she's gonna give me stress, so I'll just block it for now. This is hard to watch. Please stop staring at me. <laughs> um. Okay. Doubt. Mm -hmm. We'll pump it up. And enthusiasm. Also, his heart is like, we can keep raising the price. I can't believe this. <laughs> and I'll keep my card up. I'll do one more turn. I think I can last one more turn. <laughs> K.O. <laughs> oh, I just have to beat her price. In terms of expense, of course, not in terms of like making it a better, cheaper product. Easy win. It, it's a showing from. It's a strong showing from both our contestants. But there's a clear winner, and it's Sylvia. Well, would you look at that? Turns out I'm a natural. Why you, you sloppy little upstart. You have no idea who you're messing with, but I'll show you. I'll show everyone. I'm sick to death of dimming my flame. Oh shit. Oh no, she's got horns. She's a succubus. No, no. No, she just went from a 10 to a 15. Fuck. What have you done, Roxanne? I can only have so much thirst for you. 
No! What have you done? We're screwed! She's two of my favorite fantasy things! Hmm, that's much better. Wow! Did anyone see that coming? We don't normally get this sort of excitement in the lower circuits, folks. I'm done holding back. So then, why don't we try that again? Oh my god. Uh, Robin, I would be careful if I were you. I would wear like a... I don't know. Something to protect you below the waist. <laughs> your flair for the dramatic gets top marks. But what about your next posi uh, potion? This one is utterly incandescent with demonic mojo. Oh god, oh, no. oh god, no, Robin, run! And what level of fire resistance does it offer? Let's just say you'll want to take a swig before you stand too close. I hear that. I'll give it a value of... 89. Ah, oh, we can beat that easy. Oh, I can smell Sylvia's despair from here. Sylvia, any dramatic reveal for us? I think I just beat that outright. Wow, I, I don't, I barely need to haggle with this one. Barely, I almost want to do, oh, that's 29. No way I could do that one. <laughs> just this perfect little concoction. Looks like a fire tonic to me. And this particular fire tonic is one to envy. It's a classic for a reason. That's easily valued at... Hmm. Any salient detail I'm overlooking? Hmm. Do I need to rethink my strategy? Nah, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, this music, though. What are you gonna do? Force you to draw a stress card. That's fine. I've got my claws in your brain, haven't I? Oh, you have no idea. Oh, what the heck? At the end of your turn, gain two stress. Couldn't sell water to a man on fire. Yeah, I kind of want to see round three as well, but... I'm scared, because this game is actually providing a decent challenge. There we go, sympathies. Captivate. Press the attack. Press the attack. There we go. You pay for this. I think I know the winner. So much talent on display. You've both done yourselves proud. But we have a winner, and her name is Sylvia. Ha! I knew I'd win, but I didn't know I would dominate. What, her? Are you kidding me with this? Hey, easy clap. Money! We did it! Woo. No demonic charm needed. Well, I suppose the cat's out of the bag. There's no taking that back. And it's just as well. That false form was beginning to feel so stuffy. <gasps> what? Oh, oh, okay. Whew. I, I, I was scared. I thought she wasn't a demon. I thought she put on like a glamour. No, she really is. Phew. Oh, almost broke my heart there. Sometimes a demon needs to stretch her tail a bit. I don't understand. Why pretend to be something you're not? First rule of business, image is everything. People all see all this diabolical fabulousness, and they make assumptions. I decided it would be easier to sell them on the idea I'm an average everyday potion which if I looked the part. Now that the dullards have gotten wise, so to speak, I have no choice but to pull up stakes and move on. I didn't mean to put you out of your business. Don't give me too much credit, dear. Don't give yourself too much credit, dear. My shop's been on borrowed time from the start. Maybe... Maybe I could help you somehow. Oh, Sylvia, envy me, emulate me, desire me. But never pity me. Don't you dare. 
Okay, that was stressful. If only I had a huge sum of money to take my mind off of it. Oh, that's right, I totally do. Ha! Huh. And then Roxanne said something snarky and just sort of swaggered away. I could swear she actually swaggers more when she loses. So you really won. Baptiste gave you prize and uh, gave you the prize and everything. Yes, Owl, keep up. Are you really so surprised that I won? Not at all, not at all. I'm delighted, Sylvia. It's the best news I've had. And it's also, I should think, an important lesson for you. When you find a move that you think is nice, make a point to use it twice. Oh, two is better than one. Choose a card in your hand to duplicate. Oh, it's Nightmare from uh, Slay the Spire. Oh, look at those little slimes. The duplicate. Uh, duplicate is put into your deck and lasts until the end of current haggle session. I'm afraid, uh, I'm not afraid to repeat myself. Or to repeat myself. Say, do you feel a sudden chill? Hello, debt lady. Congratulations are in order, Sylvia. The whole town is abuzz with news of your victory. Yeah, sure. Congratulations and now pay up, right? Don't waste my time. Do uh, you don't waste my time, do you? You don't waste any time, do you? I, th I thought I'd at least get a get to cuddle with it for a little while. Time is money. That's true for both of us. The sooner I have your payment, the sooner you can return to your endeavors. In that case, I'd like to make a deposit. Wow, there it all goes. Wow. A most satisfactory transaction. It's true what they say, isn't it? Easy come, easy go. Not that it was particularly easy. Well, it was nice being flush while it lasted, but it sure didn't last long. Don't let it get you down, and don't let her spoil your night. We're still in business, and that's no small thing. Yay! Gold earned, gold spent. 10,000. All right. This is gonna happen to Roxanne? No, because she's not in debt. She just doesn't have any upkeep. The cycle be begins anew. It's time to start working towards the next competition. I did it before, I can do it again. Yes, you did it before on the lowest circuit. This time, the challenges will be even greater. But I have good news. I submitted some paperwork, creased a few palms, and got your professional license upgraded. <gasps> new potions! You're now clear to utilize new ingredients, which will allow you to craft more advanced and more valuable potions. Yeah! With this, you'll have access to new potion recipes, and you can send heroes to entirely new regions. That'll come in handy, I bet. The second competition probably requires more complex potions. In fact, I have that information right here. At a glance, you'll notice... Wait a minute. Who scribbled on this? Oh, it's, uh... It's Roxanne. Is that supposed to be Roxanne's face? Oh, that's very... Uh oh, it's not supposed to be Roxanne's face. Oh, that's very mature. At any rate, the potions you'll be required to brew are right here, as is the non... the not insignificant reward. 40,000. The stakes, of course, are as high as ever. I'm no artist, but I thought it was pretty... Uh, pretty good likeness. Perhaps if you spent less time doodling, then... That's a fine-looking owl. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> Look at his face! Uh, who? Strange, I don't recall this, his dialect. Uh, sadly, the owl's not for sale, but uh, can I get you a potion? Not here to buy, just wanted to do some recon. Your potions don't look like much, but I can, I can smell they're the real deal. Are you serious? Usually, yes. Magic's got a stink to it, a natural funk, obvious, uh, bliv obvious to the trained nose. Maybe I should get some incense, or start perfuming the owl. Ah, so my name's Sylvia. This is my shop, funk and all. Noted. Oh, right. People trade names. I'm Corsac, and you look to be my rival in the upcoming competition. 
Is that so? Well, I should warn you, Corsac. I'm good at what I do. I won yesterday's contest, and I've been studying potion making for years. Graduated at the top of my class. Sounds impressive. But there isn't an ivory tower in the world that can teach what I've learned in, mon in Mother Nature's thorny embrace. I've started making potions out of necessity for survival, not for grades or profit. Now, I run a fully independent and sustainable operation. My potions are all natural, brewed from ingredients that I gather with my own two hands. you think that would make it harder to applaud yourself. Listen, you talk a good game, but I'm getting the hang of this, and I'll take a, it'll take a lot more than a lecture to scare me. Good on you. Talking's overrated anyway. We'll let the people of Rafta decide who's got the right idea. Be seeing you. So that's my next competitor. What do you think? Well, at least he's nicer than the last one. He lacks a certain social grace, but all that talk about sustainability could certainly win people over. I'd say he bears watching closely. Hoot, 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 hoot. You're hilarious, you know that. <laughs> All right, I think this is a good place to call it. Oh, wow, I love this game so much already. This is a good game. This is a good, good game. And I am most likely going to stream more of it, probably make it a weekly thing. What do you guys think? Weekly? Weekly game? Tuesdays? How about weekly game? Maybe Tuesdays, maybe not. I'll, I'll figure it out. But, uh, I will post, like, a stream schedule sometime. I'm th thinking of making one. Maybe either Tuesdays or Sundays. I don't know. I don't know yet, but I'm definitely going to make this a weekly thing. I love this. I love this so much. Uh, in the meantime, let's find someone to raid, shall we? Who shall we raid? Tonic Tuesdays! I like that. I like that. Tonic Tuesdays. Uh, in the meantime. Ooh, sorry, that's my own stream. Do 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 I'm gonna send you guys over to Eric. Eric is streaming Spore. You guys like Spore, right? Let's see, raid, generic skybox. And uh, yeah, we're gonna raid Eric. And uh, what shall our raid message be? How about, I'm selling you my strongest potions. I'm selling you my strongest potions. Heck yeah. All right, bye guys, thanks for coming, this is fun.